you guys want these? Because I wasn't going to drink them. No. Yes, please. No. All right, here you go. Please. Um, please. Defecation fluid. There's too many campaigns at this place with characters eating feces. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mushroom. I knew it was going to come out. <laughs> His name is literally... Welcome back to Questline. We're here in our new studio, our new space, and it's fantastic. Hey. It's been so long since we've seen each other in person. Oh my gosh, it's great to be here. Uh, I'd like to start off by uh, celebrating their new studio is on the, uh, the unceded territory of the Musqueam Nation. It's our privilege to work, play, and create on these beautiful lands. Uh, please research a little bit more about what territory you're on and find out about the plate that's going on there. So. First time together in months. We're here. We can almost touch each other. Like, look at this. This, this is it. amazing. I did it. I can, I can just make full contact with him. That's pretty cool. Now, I will mention that this is an active construction area. If you hear weird noises or things going on, feel free to clip it and make fun of us. Uh, and uh, that being said, we're going to bring to you the thing that got me into fifth edition in the first place. Uh, my first module that I ran as a DM, uh, Out of the Abyss. It's a story about demons and the underdark and <laughs> never getting out of there. And yeah, it's, oh, it's a wild ride. So we're gonna do you this little uh, mini series. We're gonna give you uh, four parts, first two coming up pretty quick in the next three weeks. And we're gonna start today by getting captured. So without further ado, out of the abyss and <laughs> into the spider webs, Brian McDougall. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing in the Underdark? Oh, well, I'm so glad you asked. I am Brian McDougall, human actor sailor bard. Please, take my card. Uh, I've... Do I have to take this? Yes. You, you humans visiting the Underdark, why? Coming off that boat? Yes, I'm going to explain all this in uh, some wild exposition right now. Don't let humans <laughs> in anywhere these days. Yes. I was excited to see that the ship that I was working on, the SS Bachelor's Delight. Oh, I see you don't shut up. Oh, yes, oh, I'm just going to continue to talk right over I, you. I didn't have to wait in this line any see, longer. See, the SS, SS Bachelor's Delight was making port in this fine city, Slubendorp. So it's my like first sailor's experience is working on a five-day uh, cruise cruise uh, with uh, drunken adventurers party. Uh, Everyone has to start out somewhere, right? So I'm paying my dues. And by paying my dues, I mean I'm mopping up orc vomit on the dance floor. But at Saturday mornings, I get to recite poetry to hungover orbs and dwarves, oh, elves and dwarves, oh, when they're shuffling through the breakfast no. buffet line. It's the most, not the most glamorous start, but I am destined to do something great. And when the ship moored <laughs> off the coast, I took a rowboat and headed into town. And I wanted to find a local theater to find some real actors. And I am on the right path. <sighs> it's like you timed that perfectly. You must be some kind of bard. Please get. <laughs> Look, the, the line's clear. It's all yours. It's all yours. Go right to the front. Actor Bard, thank you. Uh, actor Bard. Oh, no, the this... line moved. Well, then, um, you'll be presenting your papers today for access to Sloop It Up. Yes, sir. Here they are right Indeed. here. Indeed. And whatever is this? My passport? It's not triple authenticated. <gasps> it's not even laminated. It's supposed to be There's laminated? There's supposed to be magical vellum on top of it. I can't believe you've passed oh, me oh. this piece of paper. Well, in my hometown, you see, this is a... <gasps> Denied! Oh, Gods! No. Oh. Uh, as two drow, like, flank you by either side, they grab you on, and you see these uh, magical cufflinks go across your hands. <laughs> and suddenly, the world gets a little more quiet. Well, what about my one allotted messenger pages? Contact my aunt! My aunt! As they drag you away, uh, you make the long journey from Slubudop to Velkenveld, where you are being held. Oh, no. Uh, as That's you are so thrown into this cell, there's a few mm -hmm. other uh, humanoids in there, and this one little lumpy-looking thing that kind of nudges into your leg. Hi, Mr. Lumpy Thing. I'm terrified. Will you be my friend? You feel this, like, calming sensation across your body as, in your mind, Oh, of course, I'll be your friend. My name's Stool. I'm a Mykonid. <gasps> oh my god, you're a little mushroom person. I've only read about you in tales. You're so nice. No one's ever nice to me. I am way too nice for this place. I am soft. You need to help me. You need to help me too. Let's, look, I, I, I hid some food away. If I, if I give you that, will, will you help me? I will help you, and in return, I'm going to tell you the greatest poetry. 
I can look forward to it. What? And the two of you <laughs> scuttle off to the side, hunkering down and not really getting cozy because it's pretty bleak down here. But mm -hmm. the stool has hidden away uh, what looks to be some sort of like dried meat mm -hmm. uh, and informs you that they would have eaten it, but they wanted to make a friend. And it's for you, friend. Oh, that's so nice. I'll take your dried meat. Yeah, you notice it's actually in pretty good condition. Mm -hmm. um, he, he informs you too that he's sprayed it with uh, some of his spores mm -hmm. to keep all the bad stuff away. Okay, that's it's like a little preserving weird. it. That's a little fucked up, but okay. You just rub it off, it's fine. <laughs> he like scuttles over, he's like, yeah. All right, I was gonna take off your uh, your <laughs> Mycodon spooge, but I'll eat it, sure. And don't worry, there's some spores in your brain too, but that's how we talk. Oh, you put spores in my brain. I can make you feel really good, or really bad, but I don't like doing that. Oh, well that's nice. And uh, Brian McDougal is like a little bit alarmed, but also like he's kind of into it. <laughs> Because he's always down for everything. Amazing. <laughs> Going uh, a couple days back, uh, we flip to a different scene where uh, we see that this large, imposing figure is standing to, uh, next to another large and imposing figure with one leg. So, tell me again, how did you end up here? Well, Hobart Kincaid's tale is a dangerous one. It started not but a week ago. When my band of the first triumph hammers of the Archon throne were beset by the drow, a capable and terrible foe. Incredible. One the throne did not know that they had. I fought valiantly alongside my hammer brothers. It's one of your stations should. And alas, we could not honor the mother, for we fell in battle one by one and taken prisoner. I alone managed to escape, only briefly. I was later captured there fast, and in the night nothing can stop their speed. It is incredible, and nothing short of that could have conquered our band, rest assured. I but, shall rest assured. Alas. When we were caught, I was split up from my battalion. I think they fell. I have not seen one. But hear me, Darrenthil, Prince. And he'll take a knee. I swear to help you escape this dark and reunite you with my brothers and your kingdom for nothing else. And then I'll kind of like shove you away and walk off a bit. Like, we'll stop Hobart Kincaid. I fear nothing and we'll conquer all. And I'll kind of like reach back, but you're like a little bit further and I'll kind of walk. My brother, my liege, tell me what we must do to flee this wretched place. Well, once we flee this wretched place, I can help you. Greatly, once I have reclaimed my land, of course, and get rid of this curse. Alamanonai, Illuminen, we must defeat the wizard that gave me this wretched face and return me to my beautiful elven form so I may appoint you to my court in the elven kingdoms. Yes, and once we get out of this place, perhaps, perhaps this. And he hands you a little something. And into your hand, you have a silver needle. Use that wisely. I'm used to a larger weapon, but <laughs> for you, my lord, I will make two. <laughs> Be careful what you poke. <laughs> and I'll like drop it. <laughs> and you'll hear my leg yeah. like kind of clunk <laughs> over. Clink, 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 clink. Don't I'll find stab it. yourself. I, I, I think it. It's stuck in the leg, and you'll just see the large form of like the half elven uh, man with his hair pulled back in a long, like illustrious braid in like these tattered uh, burlap clothes, kind of like stumble back as he pulls the uh, needle out of his wooden leg, and he'll just kind of look to the prince. Oh no. It's just got a slight kink in it. <laughs> Roll a con save. <laughs> The so DC's 13. Uh, okay, well, no. Uh, <laughs> five. <laughs> oh, you failed by five or more. 
As the drow poison takes effect in your system, you feel your eyes go wide, your veins turn purple, and you fall unconscious. And I'll just like teeter forward and <gasps> you see, I hope there's enough left for one more dose. <laughs> and we go to our next fellow, <laughs> a, uh, another drow. Why did you come back to the Underdark? Well, um, I came back to answer uh, for my failure. Yeah. You see, uh, my name is Ashare Risht. I am a acolyte, or was an acolyte, and now am an apostate of uh, uh, some people call it a cult. I prefer to call it an order of love. And uh, I didn't like the particulars of a certain assignment I was sent on. Killing people, not much of a problem for me uh, until uh, I saw that uh, they wanted me to kill everyone on this particular outing, including some children. Um, yes, and I yes, was- but why did you return? Well, I figured if I don't come back and answer for it now, that they would send others out into the upper world after me, um, and then more people would have to suffer that shouldn't have to. I figured, uh, I just don't want anyone to get hurt anymore, you know? And now you're here with me in this prison facility. Yeah? I didn't do it. Sounds like you did it, though. Well, I didn't do it. I couldn't have done it, could I? No. Well, I... I, I, I couldn't have pulled the dagger from its sheath and stabbed it into the back of my fellow compatriot. No, it was not I. I was set up. Set up, I tell you! Okay, yeah, great. Um, I... But you did it! No, I didn't do it. That's why I'm here, is because I didn't do a thing. So you're guilty of nothing! Yeah. I, too, am guilty of nothing! Right, but like, I'm actually guilty of nothing. You're innocent? It doesn't, That's, there's it doesn't a difference. matter, it doesn't matter. We're here together now and we shall escape together. Oh, you and I, Um. drow to drow. Okay, uh, I mean, I technically belong here. So I don't, I mean, I wasn't planning on going anywhere. I see, well. You may refer to me as Sereth. And what shall I call you? Uh, Ash Ash Ashare? Ashare Risht. I see, Ashare Risht. 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 You have to put some on, on the back end of that there. Yeah. It's <laughs> magnificent. <laughs> this what? is a union match in heaven and hell and all underneath. Yeah. Okay. Um... So who are you, who are you accused of killing exactly? I didn't kill anyone. Yeah. I was set up. That's why, set I, up. that's why I said accused, like alleged. Ah, right. Allegedly, I stabbed one of my fellow drow. So, but no one believes me. Everyone thinks that I did it. I did not do it. Okay, yeah. I couldn't great. have done it. No. 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 It wasn't me. No. Well, I mean, if uh, due process and fair hearings were a thing down here, I'd say good luck. But they're not. So, like, extra good luck. Yes. But we must get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you heard me the first time, man. As the two of you scuttle off together, <laughs> trying to get away in this cell, this cramped space, and Sarah just seems to be continuing to follow you. Okay. Um, finally, we have another tale of a lost hero in the depths, or perhaps at home here in the depths. As we uh, see two companions traversing the Underdark after a, a terrible tale uh, as your fireside one night before the tragic tale takes hold. How did you end up here? Why did we get into this situation? Well, um, 
basically, I, uh, I ended up exiled for uh, murdering my brother. And after being exiled and cast out as an Utlandi, I now find myself wandering around with uh, just my dog, Oskip. And, uh, you know, we're out hunting, just trying to gather some supplies, some food. You see this uh, Durgar speaking to his mutt at the fireside as this is happening. <laughs> Quiet, Morgus. No one's gonna find us here. You gotta keep. Continues gnawing on whatever bone of an animal you hunted. I think I traced us some fine uh, looking lizards over there. We should go after them tomorrow. And uh, flash forward to the next day where we're out hunting for them lizards. Diving into one of the bush, you see a magical, uh, this like purple and uh, dull light just ex exude out of the hole that uh, uh, Oskip had just entered. As he jumps out, you see that he's all aglow as several drow are coming down on your position. Mm -hmm. As each of them, uh, one of them throws a net over your hound and the other just come racing towards you. You see spear raised going in for the extension. What do you do? I try and load my blunderbuss, take a shot. As you're loading your blunderbuss, uh, give me a d20 roll. Oh, 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 first roll of the game! As you are loading, you're, you're fumbling with the, the you're trying to put it in, it falls out and the spear extends into the, thun, the blunderbuss, but it's magical, it can't break. Pulling out, stabs at you again, uh, this time uh, swinging it around to the back end, following through and knocking you out. As the two bodies are dragged forth, you see over the next few days. What do they see? Just into the abyss. We're going into the abyss. <laughs> just <laughs> in. Yeah, just they maimed just my in. dog. Just in, not out. They maimed my dog and said it's a fight, one of theirs, for training in sport. Bastards. And then, when I thought it couldn't get worse, they killed my dog and fed it to me <laughs> to watch my pain and my anguish as I've been starved for days. You see these drow who are quite fond of making fun of Durgar and Darrow and others that are not of a quality that Loth deems acceptable. Uh, they bring you to this camp for their mistress, Ilvara. Ilvara Mizrim. Mizrim. As you are set in here, houndless, uh, a Darrow approaches you. So, you're the newest one in here. Do you know anything about this prison? Not much. I've lived a, a bit of a sheltered life. Oh, it's no matter. You have brought before Boopido, so. <laughs> it's providence. Together, brother, we can get out of here. Get out or get revenge? It matters not. It took a long time for me to acquire this flesh. And I don't aim to lose it just yet. And with your help, the two of us will return to the depths. There's much work to be done. Come, I've got a meal for you. It's not much, but we need your strength to keep you strong. And I will cast the spells and rot their minds from within. Won't it be grand? It'll be amazing. And he hands you a little packet, and inside you see that uh, this little satchel, as you unwrap it, there's a, a piece of like moldy, like uh, zuckwood bread, uh, some of the trees that have been like ground up into a grain and formed into this. It's, it's a little off, but it's better than you've eaten all week. And so, our four adventurers have been locked in jail together in Valkenvelf, this stony cavern a very bleak place where each day they are forced to do hard labor, whether it's descend the depths and gather water to bring back to the camp, or hoisting each other through the lift, because of course, why waste magic on petty criminals? Or perhaps you'll be cleaning out the chamber pots of the drow. One of these things will happen to you. Some of you have been here for days. Everybody can roll a d10. And you know what? While we're rolling that d10, also roll a d20. So, 
So, uh, how do we do? D10s first. Five. One. Four. Six. So you two have been here the longest, and you two just got here a little bit longer. Keep those rolls. What uh, does that equal if you add a d20 to it? Oh, God, Matt. 23. <laughs> 18. 15. 25. Ooh. In your days of labor down here, you uh, managed to secret away one of these oh. items. Ooh. As well as you. As well as you. And you already took this one, so yeah. <laughs> And oh, oh, new set, new set, new not set, used new to set. it. New set, new <laughs> so these are things that uh, while you've been doing these various chores for the drow, this hard labor, uh, you've managed to hide it away and we won't mention where, that's up to you. Uh, it's not quite where you think, you see. It, it doesn't have to go all the way in. It just needs to just tuck, <laughs> just, a, just a lift and a tuck. <laughs> I've got so many like you know crevices and folds. It's, don't worry about it. It's it's just instantly gone. Uh, in addition to this, yes. um, you've also somehow uh, got the like slide part of a trombone, and you've managed to bring this in here somehow. Oh, nice. Nice. Got my little instrument. I'm ready to like <laughs> set up. And I go up to uh, stool and go. Have you thought about starting like a prison band? Like, I know people tend to die after like three weeks of being in here, but like, you know, why don't we just make a prison band? We kind of fun, right? Yeah. Quiet down in there. Whoosh! As a whip is cracked in your general direction. Uh, please make a wisdom save. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Oh my. Nine. Uh, ooh, no. Uh, this actually scares you a little bit. You're frightened. Uh, this means you... Yeah. <laughs> You can take some inspiration, that was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with, with, um, uh, with Frightened, that means you can't move any closer to the drow, and any attacks you try to make against them will have disadvantage. Please don't attack them, though. That's, oh, that no. sounds really like a bad idea. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I will love <laughs> them so hard to get out of here. <laughs> uh, as you are, are kind of getting settled, uh, just waking up, um, it's food time, as at the, the metal bars that keep you in this pen, uh, you see your slop is thrown in for the day as everyone rushes in to grab some. If you want to be a part of the beginning and try and get the best stuff, roll initiative right now. Alright. Prince eats sustenance. <laughs> this was actually a part of my training as an assassin monk is to basically like the buffet line survive. on the uh, on the ship <laughs> when they brought out the new taters. How do we do? 16. 16? 4. 18. Yep. 18. Uno. Oh. Yay. Wow, we're doing great. <laughs> so, Sorry, did you did you add your initiative? Initiative oh, modifier? Just, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, my modifier. <laughs> oh, I got four then. Okay, all right. But a natural right. one. Okay. Second natural one in a row. Wow. There you go. You are 18. Uh, you gotta roll the Monk, you're in there first. Uh, uh, sorry, as you uh, head in front of everyone else, you see that these, the, the two uh, twins that you're with, these little uh, uh, rat folk that you're in this cage with, uh, one of them holds onto the other one and flips them over their head like they've done a thousand times before, mm -hmm. getting to the pile at the same time as you do. Okay. You see, like, they're grabbing that big, fresh loaf of bread, the only unspoiled food of the whole batch. What do you want to do? Um, I want to make a quick assessment. I want to make sure that the amount they're taking is uh, enough for two. So this rat folk is, uh -huh. like, they're, like, saying two and a half feet off the ground. Uh -huh. They're both about the same height. Uh, and they're, this thing is, like, larger than almost the entirety of them. This is a big hunk of bread, like right. foot long. And that's just foot and half long. one of them, or they're gonna go and take so that back and feed two of them? It's gonna feed two of them. And that can maybe feed four of them? It could probably feed all of you. It could feed all of us? Yeah, if you Okay, cool. It. Then I'm going to uh, snatch that out of their hand. Roll for it. Give me uh, 
Athletics, acrobatics, your choice. <laughs> but it might not matter, that's huge. <laughs> uh, I got a 26, so if you can beat that, let's go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find my acrobat. Here. Give me just a Show second. Level one oh, I don't need my equipment, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, uh, because of uh, being thrown into prison, don't have any of your shit. No yes. blunder vest for you. No armor, no shield, no uh, nothing. No, what? Sorry, no these? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to hack those off right now. Start you, at negative you, one. You level. rolled a what, sorry? 26. 26. Okay, which means I'd need to roll a nat 20 to beat that. Sweet. Oh, let's go. We have the same modifier. <laughs> no. 17 plus six. Ooh. It's a good number. <laughs> Very good number. Uh, 23. 23. Yeah. Pretty dang close. Uh, because you were so close though, you do manage to grab a portion of, of it away, mm -hmm. enough to feed at least two people. Okay. As, and you see like Topsy, no, don't fight him, you know why. And they scuttle off to their corner. Uh, oh. Wait, why? Uh, as you think about why, we're gonna get to the rest of the group as everyone's clamoring over other things. Um, it seems that there's some, there was some sort of soup at the bottom of that pot that's now just kind of oozing out. Uh, yeah, you wanna, you wanna get on the ground and, and start slurping it up? I just start crawling in between legs of staggering people, <laughs> despite the fact that Brian is quite a round person. He's also just like, you rip, you rip. Yeah, like, he's really good at just being unseen and just like kind of just like absorbing into the surroundings. So he just slithers through some of his legs, went up to the stoop and just like. As you are, as you're sipping on things yeah. on the ground, next to you, you notice that there is one of the fish folk, a Kuatoa, who is also. Oh, hi. <laughs> also, I didn't mean to interrupt your soup slurping. I'll just be sipping some soup here, right, too. Kill down, slurp, man. What? You don't want soup? He just kind of like gathers a little bit up to it. Yep. All right. Well, no problem here. And he kind of just like grabs it. Holds fish. out to you a spoon. Yeah. A spoon. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. And like he's, you see, like he's like hooked one of his like fingernails and is also like yeah. eating like a spoon. I'm so civilized. I didn't expect it to be civilized here. No one joins me on the ground. Is it correct? The ground's where it's at, right? I'm Choo Choo. You're Choo Choo? Choo Choo. Choo Choo. That sounds like sushi. I'm going to call you sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, writing, I'm literally writing down sushi. Yeah, yeah. Sushi the fish guy. Well, sushi and Brian are eating off the floor. Yeah. Uh, you two see like the scraps are getting pulled away. Uh, there's just kind of like hunks of like what looks to be some sort of tuber. Uh, that has been cooked and there is really chunky and hard to kind of pick up. Uh, questionable meat, all sorts of things. You're used to questionable meat. Yeah. Uh, are we eating today? Uh, yeah, he'll just reach in and scoop up what it can. Uh, yeah, you see like uh, the prince is with you, has also like scoops him up and like yeah. has wandered back. Yeah, I'll just kind of offer him my portion, kind of look at it, and it's like, like the, like the meat that I'm like holding just kind of like is like deflating. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks oh. like some sort of sphincter. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> like a wilting flower. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's just like, uh, my lord, oh. may my portions give you sustenance. I too brought you something special. Oh. It looks um, like a piece of kidney. And I'll like take a knee and like I accept this wholeheartedly, <laughs> my lord. Yeah, and this Qui Goth, who was once a prince, uh, prince of the elves, uh, <laughs> eats his sphincter. <laughs> it's it's pretty bleak, pretty bleak. <laughs> uh, how are we doing over here? What what, should, what are you eating? Describe what scrap you managed to pull off the ground. It's just the awful. <laughs> just whatever's left. I, I feel with the natural one, that's all I get <laughs> is the awful, but uh, yep. I don't even consume it. I, I take it back to my little Darrow friend and I just say, I can't have it. They fed me my dog. <laughs> <laughs> They're serving dog? 
I just, <laughs> I just, I just had these PTSD flashbacks, <laughs> and uh, I just pass off whatever I have to the pedo. Um, yeah, he he eats some and then just hands you some like somehow he managed to grab a cracker from somewhere and he gives that to you as a fair exchange. You, he's clearly got a lot more food, but yeah. he's not ungrateful. Getting some real John Wick vibes here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait we to see. We already had you... that in Star Wars. <laughs> Why not here? I can't wait to see you in action. <laughs> uh, so, um, as you're eating off the ground, uh, a one of the uh, Smurf Madeline walks over to you, Brian, and is like, "So, what are we eating down here?" We're having some floor soup. See, uh, do you want to do you want to take a bet with me? I think that this is clearly drow wine stew. Oh. What do you think yours is? I think it's more like a pea and ham that's gone bad. I don't know what those are, but that sounds marvelous. Let's find out. I bet you that two gold, I'm right. But I don't have two gold. What, don't you have a butt? A butt? You can put all your gold. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. No, I did. I did shove it's a few a things up there. It's true. I, I, I don't understand you humans. I'm so sorry. Do you have anything worth around that much? I mean, we, we could have some sort of bet going on here. I right? have this spoon that was literally just given to me. A spoon? Okay. Two gold for one, for the spoon. We need to find out what this is. Okay. How are we gonna find out what this is? Oh, I'm on cleaning duty today. That means I gotta clean out all the pots. Okay. Okay. But how do I know you're not gonna lie just so you get the spoon? My friend over there is going to keep me honest. Ildif! And uh, a very burly dwarven woman walks over to you. Yeah, he's kind of honest. Don't worry about it. Ah. Uh, and Jim just like, oh. <laughs> All right, I'll trust you. My yeah. spoon for your two gold about what type of soup it is. Yeah, and she, she's just like stroking her beard. What's your name? Brian McDougal. Would you like a business card? It's the only thing I put up my butt. Oh. <laughs> Humans do that, do they? Uh, for business cards, yes. Here. And Jim goes like, I'm Jim Char, and this is Ildit. Ildit Feldspar. Hi. Hi. I guess we've got another one in our group. Ooh, we're making a prison gang. I wouldn't necessarily call us a gang, but I'm too proud to stand down here. Mm. From Gonsal Grimm, you know? Part of the honor guard, the ones that took back the city. Sure, sure. I read about it in the paper. Yeah, from those kind over there. Okay, that's a little bit racist, but uh... It's oh true God. though. They're the ones that took our city. We drove them out. I, I fought to... side by side with Brunner Battlehammer. Cool. I'm just a little uh, human actor bard. I don't know much about Damn that. Damn it. And you see Ildith mm -hmm. hand over a gold piece to Jim Jar. <laughs> like, <laughs> This was all a bet because you wanted to know my backstory. Wow, you must be bored. <laughs> We've been here for almost nine days. Well, what I understand, it's rare for people to survive three weeks, so you know you're about halfway through. Well, <laughs> well they're either going to get out of here or they're going to try and take us to Menzel Berenzan. Drow City, you know? Oh, what's in Drow City? <laughs> there are deaths. Oh, and our dress aren't Hopefully here? Hopefully we get to fight the Spider Queen. You know, go out in honorable combat. That sounds You're the awful. kind of sort that likes to go out in honorable combat. Uh, you know, no. swinging around my war hammer, you singing. I can see it now. I mean, I, I meant for the singing part. I could definitely do some, like, you know, uh, singing in the rain kind of action. How do you feel about me giving you some of my notes from... Battles fought, and you write songs for me about <gasps> my tale, I and tell everyone. That. I would love that. I am so into this, and then we can make a little bell. Jim Jar hands back the gold piece. <laughs> she puts it away somewhere. Oh, you got me again! You guys are doing this together. Oh, well, it's I'm best if we stick together here. Yeah, mm -hmm. you seem the all right sort. I will never betray you because I am such a chicken shit. You, I will have your back because I am terrified about the other option. And Brian, behind you here, help, help, oh my god, he's sitting on me! As your little mushroom fan cries out in your mind. Still, still, where are you? As you turn around, you see that the half-work in the, in the prison here mm -hmm. is trying to squish your friend using all of his bulk. Excuse me. 
excuse me, sir, Mr. Orc, sir. That's my stool friend. His name is Stool, but he's not made of poo. Can I please have him back, sir? Oh yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Ron gets what Ron wants. I have a spoon. Tosses the tosses your stool to the side. Ah. Like, ah. And he seems to be unconscious as he hits the wall. Oh no. <laughs> He takes something from that stool seemed to have been trying to hold on to, mm -hmm. but obviously couldn't. And uh, you see like several crackers in his hand as he shoves them in his mouth. Hey, that was his food. We were gonna have the My food. To Ron takes what Ron wants. I would like to step up and say, <clears throat> Ron, could you give that- What do you want, Drow? Could you give that back, please? It's, in it's inside me. Okay. Little puny drow. I'm going to attack him. <laughs> Give Brian, it a go. Brian just feels like the bell of the ball watching all of this. <laughs> <sighs> it's yeah, still under true. construction. We're still doing yeah. How far? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard music a call from on high. <laughs> Such brave music to be played down here. How's that attack come along? It's coming. Ron just like getting closer and closer and... Oh, that was not great. Uh, 10? No? <laughs> no, because AC's 11. Okay. He's uh, gonna deck you right back. Bonus action on unarmed attack. <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> He's gonna get you. Nat 20. Ooh! Oh, nice. so, so I just like, I just hit him, and he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. And I like twist it in. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold up my hand, and I want, I want those crackers back. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, roll me some damage. Okay. I'm gonna crawl along the floor because that's uh, what I'm really good at. How I do you want me friend. to resolve the nat 20? <laughs> Double your die and add your mod. Okay. Oh, uh, ooh, yeah, monk, monks have died, don't they? Yeah. Do they have died? Yeah. At yeah. Le uh, level one, martial yeah. arts is where you get it? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Then it is a die, do double it, otherwise it is just your strength. So I roll, double that, and then add the mod, right? Bingo. So that would be, yeah. 12. <laughs> and, and it'll be sub d d d d dual. Yeah. As Super you, cool. yeah, as you twist, you feel something crunch, and you realize that you might have broken something in his sternum yeah. as he collapses, yeah. and you hear it. And I, I'll just. <laughs> yeah. And he gets back up because he's a half orc. Right, yeah, he has and that. And he thing. hits you for a 20. <gasps> like, Nat? No, okay. just a regular 20. Yeah, I mean, that for sure hits me, yes. <laughs> you take uh, three points of damage. Okay. Don't touch Rod! And he runs away. You see, like, he's in the in the corner now, just kind of like... <laughs> do, do I get the crackers back, though? No, he made his con save. Ah. Um, I crawl over to a uh, stool and kind of, like, pick him up in my arms and then kind of crawl back over to uh, my new friend here. Hi, thank you so much, you saved my stool. Yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah, don't mention it. <laughs> How's your nose doing? Can I give you a little heal in action? Ah, give me a second. Just you, I'm just drow. So? It's a, I just got it. Wow, everybody's so judgmental. You are person. noble, sir, and I'll lay on hands uh, for four HP. Okay. Oh my Thank stars, you. I can't believe it. She hands another gold back to Jim Jar. <laughs> as I, as you d d do do that, it says, oh. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, hey, that's great. Formidable standing against such an opponent. Take yeah. some inspiration. Oh, thanks. Great. Take some inspiration as well for healing. Oh. Take some inspiration, because you've been great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, um, real good. Over there. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, just, oh god, <laughs> my, my dog, dog. My, <laughs> my fucking dog. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, I, I know um, how I've detected a pattern in the cage here. So um, I'm just gonna go back to, you know, our side of the cell or whatever. Um, I just don't like seeing people get picked on. Is all. Oh, okay. No, friend, don't go back to your side of cell. Let's hang out. Let's hang out. Okay. I was thinking. I was thinking. 
we've already got these guys over here, but they're making a lot of side bets, you know, and I don't have anything to put up against it, but what if we became a prison gang? We could wear matching little outfits, mm. you know? We could make a little, like, fun handshake. Mm. Perhaps. You know? A and then we each other's backs! And I can tell you guys all kinds of cool poetry. Okay, um, great. Uh, well, I just, I was just, um... This mushroom uh, guy can also make you high. Okay. Well, that, well, okay. Um, <laughs> what? What? What happened? So don't worry about it. I'm keeping us safe. Did you say hi? I'm making I'm making us a prison bitch. Don't worry, I'll keep us safe. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm really squishy. Uh, singular prison bitch. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, um, I just uh, was um, excommunicated from a a a, a gang, uh, so I'm not really like in the market for a new one. But um, uh, it's cool that you offered. That's pretty neat. Think we're more of a collective. Yeah. Hey now, stay away from my friend. He didn't do anything. Okay. I mean, you see another draw approach and get in between you and Ashari. No, oh, friend. No, 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 no. It's all good vibes here. Good vibes. It's okay. Uh, he did do something great. Well, yeah. I did do something just now. Even though the reason why I'm here is because I didn't do. Any, I didn't do something. I'm innocent. I, sh I should have done something when I should have done anything. An injustice any has I, been no, served. No, okay, I you see, I'm not innocent. Something. I am guilty of breaking a law. Oh. And the law was I didn't do a thing I was assigned to do. What? But That's the, right, you tell them, you're innocent. No. You couldn't have done that. They framed you okay. for not doing anything. I can't stress this enough. I do belong here. Your honor hangs in the balance, sir, and I'm not sure I'm falling. <laughs> well, okay, well, in the matter of honor, I did... I did not kill children, and that's Very why honorable, that's course. why I'm here is because I didn't do it. You did not follow a terrible I just order. I want to say honorable. Bravo. He I doesn't have to prove himself to you. We already know he didn't do what he didn't I, do. He already proved right. himself. And I didn't do anything either. Okay, yeah, man. Um, cool. I don't know who you are. You didn't quite come to the rescue of the stool, so um, that's cool. But you know, you're great. You know, well, we can't all come to the rescue all the time. It takes, it takes... It takes a village? Yeah. Ah, but if know. we work together, perhaps in larger numbers. Yes, Did you collective. say work together? <gasps> we can get matching tattoos. Okay. Maybe. Wait, you sailor know how tattoos. to do this. I do already this is the have thing you tattoos. Do? Um, sailor tattoos? Oh, it's magic. very common in sailor culture. I know nothing about this human sailor culture. I'm intrigued. I think we should be friends with them. Yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, I'm not... We're together, really he and I. That's not. Are you? Not like that. Like it's, that? I know we're drow, but not like that. Okay, not not like that, not like that or like the other thing. Like it's <laughs> yeah. not any of the things. Like is the thing? Okay. Don't worry. We have inner knowledge about this place. The drow. The oh, real okay. problem with prison is a failure to communicate. But that's also a real issue on the outside too. Um, so here we are. I've been told I communicate way too much. So I can communicate for all of us. You don't communicate enough, I love it. <laughs> Still, I love you. <laughs> I got you. And if you have any of that spores to make me You're feel like You're feeling real good. Oh yeah, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> just breathing it right in. My pupils are kind of dilated. Do you have allergies or something? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, there's a lot of um, mold spores in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're developing dark vision. <laughs> ah, I'm grinding my teeth. Well, just look. clenching my jaw like crazy. And I'm like, does anyone have any gum? <laughs> I could hear his teeth chattering from here, and that's yeah. weird. That's okay. Great. Well, then, right. since we're all friends here, yes. and you see like them gathering together, do you want to try and get in on this? I imagine we were like crowded around you. Like, you're just like, sitting I, you're just, down, like looking you just see, you just see me. <laughs> I don't want no stool sample. <laughs> if, the, if the camera's here, you just see his head just at the bottom of the frame. I'm trying to cry alone. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, friend. I uh, almost sat down. On him? He called me wee. <laughs> I ain't no wee fella. <laughs> I'm not very observant. Uh, apologies. All right there, peg leg. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that's a whole other story I'd be happy to tell you. <gasps> oh, I'm fine. I don't need to hear it. <laughs> uh, oh, um, very well. Um, save, it, save it for the barn. 
I love it's another one of those further terminologies. Yes. Which which terminology would that be? Peg leg. Peg leg. Yes, it refers to a little wooden leg. See, sometimes you get a thing called gout, or you get a thing called syphilis, or you get a oh man, there's so many illnesses. It that was none of those. Ship. It's much better than dragonorrhea. Oh yes, yeah, so the, the gonorrhea. Scales and flakes off. It's not pleasant. Oh yes. Yeah. So I wouldn't know from experience. All I can really say is that when you go to port, the first step you should be is going to see a doctor. Every port, every port. Get a multivitamin, it generally helps. And if it doesn't help, well, you just have to live with it. Well, we don't have doctors down here. We have uh, the healers in the d darkness. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly just a nest of spiders. And uh, if you survive, it's just a little bit worse than the thing that was hurting you. So you focus on that instead. Oh, so okay. So are we to understand that you two are from these nether regions? I mean, we don't call them that, but yeah. <laughs> Sounds kind of sexy. I'm from here. Where, where, where are you from? Don's Perrin. Oh, I yeah. hear they uh, have good... Oh, no, I haven't heard anything good about them. No, I'm so glad you're not from Mental Dareth. Wow. That place is quite unfortunate. I've it's been there so once. Get it. So much blood. Have you ever been to Mantle Dareth? No, I call myself then a you would understand. of the world, but I've literally been never nowhere. Nowhere? Except for uh, my hometown and my ship. Ah, ship down here. Mm -hmm. You must have been on the Dark Lake. I was on the SS Bachelor Delight. I love the Dark Lake. That's my home. <gasps> Sushi, you're back. And he hands you like a uh, little more like soup. And he's like cupped up for you. Oh, thank you, and his little fin. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Even like even playing pretend in a post-COVID world makes me cringe. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Floor soup in this economy. <laughs> I really am imagining like a, a rancid pea and ham situation. <laughs> what you're just telling yourself are those ingredients. Yeah. Who knows? It just. There's some pinkish chunks and there's some yellow chunks, but it's mainly gr blue, or like green. It's better than dog. <laughs> Can't argue with that. You gotta try everything once, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Fetch! <laughs> Play dead! Oh! <laughs> Play dead. oh. <laughs> Play just, no! <laughs> right, so how are we going to get out of here? Right. So we I've should been... have already been taken out by the patrol going to Menza Baranzan. It's unusual for them to be late. I've been waiting for my aunt to get in contact with me. They assured me they sent a messenger pigeon to her, my one allotted messenger pigeon to get my papers in order, but I haven't heard anything back and every time I ask guard, they hit me in the face. So I'm starting to believe it was a lie. Is that crazy? That's no, not that's crazy. Not. We're not crazy. I'm not crazy. Okay. We know. Um, good, good. You have been detained indefinitely, as have we all. But what about your process? No. <laughs> I think they left that behind long before they captured you. Judging by your <laughs> portly abilities, I'd say you'd make a fine slave, and that's where you're headed. Oh, I, no. on the other hand, am going to be strung up by my toes and fed to the spiders. I mean, I'll take oh, oh same. Yeah. yeah, that's why we're the same. We're together. Oh, well, not I, like I, that. Not. Or like that. Like, we're not like that. Also not like that. I can't. Okay. I, the more you deny it, the more it seems. No, it's just, it's just, like, it's not, it's not that I have. you two discussed your relationship openly? I well, find the thing that. Days. The thing is, is that Communication there, there, is key. <laughs> there is none, and that's what I'm trying to hammer home. Mm -hmm. He's projecting one on mm -hmm. to me and then telling people about that. And then we're all concerned that people are going to think it's like another thing. But I'm not even concerned about that. I'm just concerned <laughs> that people think that we're even fr friends. I people just shouldn't assume just anything just because buddies. you're pals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that. Technically, we're both from the Underdark, yes. Uh, even the buddies part might be a stretch. So being from this Underdark, you would know, perhaps, 
how to navigate away from this terrible place and back to the surface where we can once again reclaim our battalions and return in full force to free these uh, 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 unduly processed prisoners? Okay, yeah, so yes, Sir Kincaid. If we, yes. if we get to the passport office where they impounded my rowboat, we can get I to don't. my rowboat and get to my ship. Okay. Oh. It's enough to fit six people. Robot, I know what you can get a robot. Okay, so I don't. Oh, a different robot? Ro oh. It's sushi. And I own slow water. <gasps> oh, that's where we. That's where I would came from. You've been to my home. I've been to Slow <sighs> I'll take you there. We must escape. Yes, I agree. Okay, so how are we gonna do this, fellas? Should we get the tattoo first or like a matching prison garb? I could flip my shirt on the inside so we make like a nice little like, like kind of like a, a brassiere kind of thing. And we could wear that matching. Everyone here wants to be friends. It's like it's not even prison. You suddenly feel a little odd when you say friends, as if you've been inhaling something for the past 20 minutes. Something held by one of those friends. Friends! Stool's just like. <laughs> <laughs> just nodding at you. <laughs> plumes and plumes coming out. How many of us have them? <laughs> friends! Right, well, they're going to be taking us patrols any minute now. I suggest you find ways of escaping. Okay. Well, I do know where to go if we do get out of here. Well, that's a good start. There's something you Friend. should know if you're on water duty. <laughs> there's a little nuisance in the pool. It won't bother you, but maybe it's something we can use to our advantage. A gray ooze lives within that pool. And we drink from it? Of course, no. it purifies the water. Interesting. So. Should we disturb its slumber and have it sick on one of the guards? Or perhaps create some other sort of distraction? Maybe find that while you're down there. I have a great idea. Okay, what if we call on this water friend to sink on the guards, the guard gets taken out, I assume the persona of the guard, because of course I am an actor, <laughs> And as everybody knows, I have advantage on deception. <laughs> you so, see, like, stool begins to glow a little bit, and, and your also, inspiration pool grows by one. Oh, even more inspiration. So that's a group inspiration. Any of you can redeem that to uh, awesome. give yourself uh, a re-roll. So when this happens, I take on his persona. I use one of my spells to make it even better. And then I march us out of uh, everybody else in manacles. And then we just march out. We're going for, um, I don't know, we're going to dig a ditch or some shit. I don't know. You know, whatever <laughs> prisoners do out in the world. We're, we actually do have an assigned task. We're going to fetch water. Yeah, so just do that. I mean, if we take out the guard, we could just maybe leave. No, there's, there's a lot of guards. I, I well, feel like we need to be... one by one, we will champion them together. I love this plan, but, but you see, you're one fighter without a weapon and no armor, and um, the first guard that comes, I'm gonna cry because, you see, when I'm threatened, my voice starts to get really high, and it gets really scary, and it's just not bad. So, is that part of the performance? Oh, definitely not. I, this is Can you not act brave? No. That's the one, <laughs> that's the one thing I can do. I can be from my friends, I am a patron of the arts, and I'm going to help us get out of here. And under pressure, I'm Oof. going to be great. But if you try to put a sword in my hand, or you ask me to fight, I'm just going to cry. It's frankly what's going to happen. So, here I think we do this quietly, and we do this professionally. We just march right out of here. I spout some shit about us, you know, having to go get the water. Who and, has uh, been here the longest? Um, do you know how many guard accompany us? Would I know how I many guard? I have just arrived. Mm -hmm. Would I know? Uh, you can make a history check. Okay. Uh, both Brian and uh, uh, Scorman, <laughs> score guard Seventeen. Seventeen. Nine. Nine. 
you think that there's easily in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 drow that are in this encampment. Mm -hmm. uh, but Brian, you've been paying careful attention. You know there are 19. Right. And how many accompany us like on these tasks? At least three. In addition to that, however, there are also a dozen spiders that inhabit the webs around the camp. Ew. In fact, other prisoners that have not been so as fortunate as you have been fed to these spiders already. Gross. They're going to put their eggs in their intestines. Um, I vote don't get eaten don't by the spiders. Intestines. Uh, you also know that okay. there are... Got to try everything once. Several uh, uh, Quigoth, the same as Prince Darendel. Oh. Uh, that are also under the boot and whip. <laughs> yeah, Not a heel, a whip. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we've got three per, per session of uh, um, prisoners walking around. I can impersonate one. Um, our drow friend over here could perhaps impersonate another one along with, uh, sorry, friend, what was your name? Sereth. Sereth. Oh, I love that name. Beautiful. Sounds I should like warn you that character. they are quite familiar with each other. Impersonating yeah. one of them would be most difficult. Yeah, they all know each other, and they all know me. Uh, I know, I know them. I also know them quite cast well. Some spell on you as well. Hmm. To uh, to make you look like a guard. Slightly different, like members of the patrol. Yes. Oh. That's not bad. Yes, I don't know if I could do it for everybody because that seems like a lot for a lava one character. But <laughs> what color are your eyes? Oh, it's a disguised self. Never mind. I think they're lavender. I don't know if I. Sp Interesting. That's off, so off. Uh, not of Lolth or of Lolth. They'll either be red or not. Ooh. Uh, then they would be of Lolth. Yeah. Okay, so they're still red. Yeah. Sarah's For now, aunt. I mean, like, I don't know if that's a trait of the cult and culture, or if it's a, or if not. But I, I've only failed them recently. So. Failure is not accepted. Whoosh! Ow! Wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these redemptions. Uh, six. Uh, six, yeah, you are a friend of the draw guard currently uh, okay. uh, looking over the cell. Okay. This, thing, uh, this feeling is uh, going to linger a little longer. Uh, same for you, Brian. You still feel frightened of this. <laughs> you don't really want to go closer to the, the exit. Uh, yeah, you notice that Sereths are not red. They're gray. Oh. What color are the eyes of the guards? Red. Red. Red? Huh. Hey. Where did you say you were from again? Here. I'm from here. I didn't betray anyone. Set up. I told you about this. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're, you're not uh, Drow of Lolf. No. No, I was set up. She can't have abandoned me. Okay, well, um, she, okay, uh, well, if you were of loath, it appears that that is no longer the case, regardless of your innocence, which we all believe. I, I, I can't speak. Okay, okay. Oh, you oh. dying of a heartache. No, okay. Wow, uh, I didn't. You did this. I didn't do it. Doesn't matter, I'll prove myself. I'm not, I was set up. Yeah, I, I, okay. You see, look, I still have mine. I don't know why, okay? I don't know why. It'll be gone soon too, and then we'll all be, but it doesn't matter because we're all gonna be fed the spiders. Like, rips a section off of his sleeves and just ties them around his eyes. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I do. Have you thought about talking to your lover? He seems really upset. Okay, um, I can't. Stress that enough. Sorry, not, not my love. No, there's no applicable term. We are cellmates and acquaintances. Bunk buddies. No. <laughs> we, we share a side of the cell. 
We don't share cots. All right, scum, time for you to head to your chores. I'm not done explaining a thing, so like- Each okay. of you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, I'm afraid. All right, fine. <laughs> uh, you are each assigned different tasks. You and Ront are assigned to being uh, on lift duty with some of the Quagoth, hauling the lift up and down, uh, full of the people gathering water. Uh, we have uh, Hobart and uh, Scorgerman. Scorgerman? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I can't Skogamar. do this. One more time. Skogamar. Skogamar. Yeah. We'll not fumble it again. Skogamar. You are heading down to gather the water. And lovely Brian, you are going to be cleaning some chamber pots. Ooh. <laughs> it's just like on the booze cruise. You got. Uh, <laughs> I'm used to this work. It's fine. Joining you, you have uh, Shushar, uh, who seems to be quite happy about this assignment, uh, and Stool will also be joining you. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone else is heading down to the pool. All right. The pool. This chamber pot has a red tinge in it. Somebody's got an infection. <laughs> <laughs> you see Shushar just take it. <laughs> I don't diss different cultures and stuff, but like, hmm, that's a choice. That's for my second stomach. Your second stomach, that, that's, uh, I'm not, I don't even wanna know, it's fine. I need the flora. This is, this is sushi we're talking about, right? Good God. Oh, Healthy mind. <laughs> sushi, you are a gem. I can't wait to get to know every detail of your life when we get out of here. Stool also like wanders over to one of the chamber pots and like you see like his, his foot go in mm -hmm. and these little roots extend and absorb everything inside. Everything? Yep. Wow, even the ammonia. Wow. I'm just gonna, do you guys want these? Because I wasn't gonna drink them. No. Yes, please. No. All right, here you go. <laughs> you and you. Yay. Oh, it's human actor bards. We, we're not really big on um, defecation fluid. Too many campaigns at this place with characters eating feces. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mushroom. <laughs> I knew it was going to come up. <laughs> His name is literally Stool. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> I knew, but come on. So, you and Ron, side by Still side. Uh, let's see, you, you two here are going to be lowering down everyone else, along with several Quigoth. Okay. Uh, is it which just by like... Prince Darendel has also joined, as okay. he's quite strong in his form. Um, but he's like, oh, this is too much work for me. I can't possibly be demeaned like this. Uh. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> as uh, all of you are lowered down to uh, where the pool is, and please stay. Do, do, do. As the drow are oh, keeping morning. watch, please stay. As we're being moved, mm -hmm. do we get to see where they may have uh, hidden some of our uh, confiscated items? Um, because you've been here a little while, you know that they are in the uh, uh, officer's quarters. Okay. Uh, or the priestess chamber. Uh, where uh, Ilvara and Asha uh, have, uh, like the, the two priestesses here, senior and junior, they uh, have sequestered all magical items and weapons for resale. Okay. They'll be moved along with you. Should you <laughs> be sent to Menza Berenzan, that is. Let's see if we get there or not. Uh, as you are lowered down, you're, you're all in position there. Looking too spry today, scum. <sighs> as all the drow extend, as this green, poisonous liquid emits from them and hits into each of you that are down at the pool, please make constitution saves. Not you. Oh, Not me. You're on top. No, you're I'm lowering. Yeah. You're in the chambers. I, I remember now. <laughs> I, I think I put two shards in here. Not supposed to be there. Okay, how do we do? Come. 23. You fight it off. 
But do you want to look like you're stoically resisting it, or do you want to maybe play dumb? Um, I'm going to pretend that it's having an effect. All right, make a performance check. Uh, five. Five? Five. <laughs> uh, you are poisoned. Ah. Uh, Oh, strangely familiar. <laughs> in here. <laughs> in addition to having disadvantage on attack rolls and uh, uh, ability checks, you also have disadvantage on saving throws for a while. We'll check back in. Uh, and that being said, while you're down here, each of you please make investigation checks to try and find little things that could maybe help you get out of this place. My performance check was a 14. 14 on performance? Yeah, you're looking pretty sickly. Bupido comes over. Um, Don't worry. Usually by the time we get back up, it's, it'll disappear. <laughs> he fades back into the shadows. Uh, I, I'm trying to specifically find a large rock. Large rock. Like a, a b b b b b boulder? Or a, something big enough to throw into the pool to cause yeah. a, a Yeah, stir. okay. Uh, how do we do on our investigation checks? I got a nat one. Hmm. <laughs> plus, uh, plus four to five, but you know, nat one, you can't, you can't really, uh... You thought that chamber pot was empty and nope! No, no, no. Oh, did I get it on my hand? Nope, it, uh, it magically did not, somehow. Uh, um, wow, that was the most, uh, uh, nice one I've ever experienced. It's close. It's close. I'm gonna spend a point of inspo on this as well. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so that would be. Uh, inv yeah. Everyone else is looking for things. You, you're welcome to investigate as well. Okay. I rolled an eighteen. Eighteen. Pretty good. All right. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. It's um, crazy. Yeah. You're kind of like watching Ron. Ron's kind of watching you, uh, and you notice that next to Ron, there's actually quite a large chunk of rock that could easily fall away. Okay. In fact, um, if you just give him a little push, you think his weight would be enough to make it fall away. Okay. Uh, who's closest to the edge of the? pool there. Uh, you two, and then behind you, I just don't have enough minis, uh, okay. are Quagoth that are holding onto the ropes with you. Right. Uh, so sorry, but I'm, I mean, went down low there. Down below? Uh, so water. Yeah. Pool. Uh, over here we have, uh, uh, oh, Prince Darendil's supposed to be up here. Apologies. There you go. Stay. Ildith, Jimjar, we have Boopido. And uh, your friend over here, uh, Scorgamore. <laughs> Scorgamore. Scorgamore. Uh, as well as Drow and uh, Hobart Kincaid. Okay. More Drow up here. Topsy and Turvy are down here as well, helping. Oh my okay. god. Which one's okay. Topsy? Which one's turning? Um, hmm. <laughs> I, say, I say to uh, uh, my uh, Drow I say friend. to you in the woods of my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, uh, uh, I say to uh, Sarith, or sorry, it's the it's the it's the half work, right? Uh, up here, yeah. This is rot. Right, rot. I say, don't hit me again. You want out of here? Rot doesn't want to be hit anymore. I won't hit you anymore. I just need help or something. Something was rattling inside. Okay, yeah. Like that's, the babies. That's my fault. Um, I just need, I just need you to mm. get the drow's attention and get them close to the edge of the pool. Okay? Right. Or, wait, you're strong, right? You're big, yeah. you're big, strong? Yeah! Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you see that rock there? Yeah. When I give you the word, I want you to kick that rock down into the pool as hard as you can. What's the word? The word is bird. That's the word, bird! Oh, and he jumps no. onto it as he falls. <laughs> Rocks tumbling, cascading down. Um, <laughs> Oh no, Rot! Rot has fallen into the pool. Uh, cascading down, down he falls. You don't hear a splash. Instead you hear, Rot doesn't want to be eaten by spider! Uh, I would like and to then it goes silent. Out. And as you look over, 
you see that one of the uh, spiderlings has come across uh, Raunt and has begun to wrap them in uh, their web of just juicy deliciousness. Oh, okay. And Rot took the big stone with him? I yeah. sure did. Great. <laughs> that's uh, splooshes. Okay. Because that's all I wanted, but that sucks for Rot. Everyone's like, oh, oh no, not again. Okay. Farewell, you bastard. <laughs> so, the rest of you, uh, how did our investigation checks go down at the pool? Uh, with disadvantage, but I used my inspiration. I got a minus one for a 17. Hey, not bad. 17, and did you say 18 before I break? I 18. Yeah. Right. 17, 18, looking around down here, um, you notice a couple of interesting things. Uh, one of them being um, this very uh, particular gem. It is uh, faceted and purple, and it seems to draw in the bioluminescence from the, like, the mosses around here. So it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it's also quite dark. So you can take that if you want. I will take that. Looks to be worth quite a bit, but also as you touch it, Artificer, you feel magical properties within. Okay, okay. Do I get a, a sense of the magical properties? You would have to cast some magic. Mm. Do you want to attempt to cast a spell? The way he says that, attempt. Yeah. Uh, sure, sure. Okay, um, what are you gonna cast? <laughs> Identify? Yeah. Um, we'll do an identify on it then. All right. And um, how would you like to go about this? Um, I'm just gonna pick it up and put it next to my ear. Okay. And uh, just sort of see if I can get some sort of osmosis reading from it. Um, well. All right, so. As you go to lift it into the air, you see, you, uh, and you begin to like utter whatever word that begins the ritual of identify before Bruca goes, put that away. What do you think you're doing? I'm counting for you for one of the smart ones. Put that away. Hmm. What's wrong with it? They're going to see you. And? And then you'll die. The penalty for casting magic in these parts is death. Hmm. Please do it discreetly. I put it under my ragged robe and see if I can get anything from that. You're still going to try and cast a spell? I'm still going to try and cast a spell, <laughs> but it's going to be under my robe. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. We'll let the dice decide. Uh, as you complete the casting of the spell, uttering the word, even as quietly as you do, mm. a little bit of light escapes. And you see one of the drow <laughs> counterspell you. As another drow comes up behind you, night to night, and you feel a sharp pain in your back. Okay. I need you to make a constitution save. Uh, eight. Uh, you fall unconscious. Okay. <laughs> As the jaw poison takes hold. Oh, that's not good. No more magic. Get this one out of here. Oh, do I get an advantage on that roll? Because it, it's, it's poison? It is poison. Okay. I'll try. I'll, I'll try rolling again if it's a poison. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Give yeah, it a yeah. try. Yeah. We got inspiration. We got some pool yeah. inspiration as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, well, I have a natural resistance to poison. Yeah. Uh, I get an 18 on 18. advantage. Still fails. Oh, okay. Yeah, you you want to try again? Hmm? You want to try you, again? No. Are you, are, what, okay. what is he adding? Hmm? What, what is he adding to, to those rolls? Are you, are you adding your con there? Yeah. You, you rolled an 18? I rolled 13 out of 5. Oh, 13 5. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it does the math, sorry. <laughs> cool. D&D Beyond! D&D Beyond? <laughs> Not an official sponsor. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> So, as you um, are hoisting up your friend, please make a uh, strength check for me. 
Oh, you mean Athletics if you got it? My minus one ass. I love it. <laughs> 13. Not bad. Normally that would be easy going for a 13, but you're down a man. He's being currently eaten by a spider. Uh, it's a struggle to get him back up. Okay. But he makes it. Yep. And is carted back to the cell. Uh, by how many guard behind us? How many guard uh, are in this group here, up here? Yeah. There's yeah. three that you can see. And how many of them took the... took? The, uh, one came to get him, so the one three came. stayed. Okay. You've still got three. They're thinking. You've also got four Quagoth behind you that are not Darendil. Okay. And one Darendil. Got it. <laughs> As you lower the uh, elevator back down. Yep. Uh, we'll resolve this in a little bit. We need a plan. And we but you still have now. that gem. <laughs> like looking at you, like, what's the <laughs> What's that answer? Did I miss a sign? And I turn around, you're getting, you're like knocked out, getting carted away, like, oh shit. Hobart, as you, Where's our leader? As you're searching Brian. around, Hobart, you find a skeleton key. Oh, nice. That looks like it fits in one of the locks upstairs. Not the cell key, but. Okay, um, I will, as stealthily as I can, Try and hide that. Sleight of hand. Not great. Um, definitely. Yeah, just a. Uh, ooh, I actually have a plus two, but it's still nine. Nine? Nine. Uh, did you roll that advantage? Uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage. I'm poisoned. Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's <a> <laughs> Uh, someone might have tried to help. Oh? Oh. That might cancel it out. That might cancel it out, but I we're mean, gonna I move along because you end up putting it away anyway as I roll a natural one. Ooh. Oh, nice. So it wouldn't matter. <laughs> you put it away. Mm -hmm. You're like, <laughs> why? <laughs> yes, great, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it, tastes, um, uh, it tastes like blood. Okay. Oh, I really like swallow. irony and, and yeah, I'm not, try not and great. Keep it in my mouth. <laughs> um, a little chunk of it like falls off. It seems like it's been down here a while. Mm -hmm. um, you wonder when you had your last tetanus shot. Uh, <laughs> As others, <I'm> <laughs> others gather things, and uh, you successfully complete while uh, you are doing chamber. Oh, you've got a one. Uh, yeah. I did. Coming back to the prison cell then. Uh, everyone is lifted back up. Mm -hmm. um, you are all together once more. Uh, you regain consciousness oh, okay. as they return. Excellent. Fellas, I have had the time of my life. Did you know that they have chamber pots full of all kinds of bodily fluids? And these little friends down here, they eat it. It's truly the cycle of life. Are you sure that's not some of the soup you had? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my! Oh! Spit up, but there'll be like a metal key kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> I just like <coughs> roast in the nut. Mmm. 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 Brain's down for anything. I found this, and I'll like kind of like call everybody in, including the prince kind of like stand over us, kind of shielding me a little bit, like just try and be as somewhat discreet as a clear uh, yard huddle can be. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so well, the gods don't see. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, worry, we're pumping iron at the same time. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'll like so, hold out the key. The key. What Sarah leans in. Interesting. What do you suppose it works for? Do you recognize this at all? Is it drowish or I recognize it. It's from this compound. Well. We'll get you into all of the rooms here. Except. That's quite something to lose. So. That's interesting. I believe that's Jolan's key. Jolan? Yes. What happened? Well, Jolan had an unfortunate accident fighting off a black pudding the other day. A black 
Shooting. Yes, acid to the face. An arm oh. barely functional anymore. <laughs> and now she, she doesn't my, love my him phone anymore. Phone <laughs> Your friend is totally off the rocker, I fear. Not my friend, and don't say that too loud. He'll take offense to it. I love that you defend him, that's very cute. No, it's just, <laughs> it's a problem for you. I don't care. What? I knew uh, we'd be friends. Anyway. What? You have clearly been here for quite some time. What is your plan for helping us? We all have contributed. I'm a little more closely watched than each of you. What is that? I used to work here. You used to work here? Scandalous. Yes. Ilvara was once someone with me. I don't know what I've done. Until I was set up by the younger ones here. Framed for something I didn't do. So you used to be part of the guards? How are you not dead by the prisoners yet? Because Loth wishes it so. She will judge me in Menzo Baronzan. They hmm. can't kill me until then, but they can torment me. Oh, wow, this sounds like some intense backstory stuff. Shame about Front. We could have used his strength. Why do you think Loth abandoned you and not me yet? You think she would have abandoned me? She did not abandon me! Okay, I mean, sorry, bad choice of words or whatever, but like, you know what I mean, the eyes. Uh, fine. This matter, Jolan is out of favor right now. Much like me, except, uh, Shur has taken his spot. Didn't you notice the wand that Shur was carrying? Yes, he's taken over as Ilvara's new lover. Oh, is that what the wand is? Like a love thing? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a type a, a of wand. A symbol of love. Like a magic wand? Yes, like a magic wand, yes. What, what b -b 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 brand of wand is that magic wand? I don't know, but it's really popular in the Sailor community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a little sticky, but don't worry, it will wear off after a while. Just and some, just some have normal a... soap will take care of that, don't worry about it. Dishwasher's safe, I'm sure. <laughs> do they... Do you have any ideas of how to get said wand? Is that important to the plan, or are you just I mean... going off tangent? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to steal that wand away. It would mean the absolute death of sure. And... How do we get you in a position to accomplish that? I don't really wish to, but I do wish to get out of here. Yeah, this doesn't seem, this doesn't seem relevant to getting out of here, which I right. think is well, like they might be very right. interested in one of their own being attacked. Well, I'm not, I'm not magic, <laughs> but um, I could get it. I could disguise it. I don't think we need to get hung up on the wand. I was just interested if our companion was interested in that part of the plan. Oh, actually, that would be really cool if you did that. You want me to get the wand? Yeah. I think if you got no, it. No, no. Of that course. That would just further prove that I was, no, no, I am innocent of my crime and I will prove it. So you this should is... prove it by trying to create a big scene. Hmm. The only way... But Ilvara doesn't have the power to pardon me. Um, Who has the power to pardon you? Only Loth. Only Loth. Okay, we should do it in the name of Loth. See? He agrees with me. This is why we're friends. Except, okay, ex right. we're not friends. Except I'm friends guilty with benefits. of my... <laughs> There's a benefit to the friendship, Quite right? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so I don't, I don't Are you know. interested in remaining in the prison then? Have we made an error? I, I assumed you didn't want to go down an innocent man. You seem a man of honor. Well, I'm not innocent. I just didn't. You are innocent by honor's sake and by not following some horrible act that your uh, commanding officer forced you to do. That's. Well, the commanding officer is a god, so you know there's that. Um. This is getting really complicated. Yeah, Loth is complicated like that. Um, Loth is, Loth is everywhere. In fact, Loth is here with us now, and he produces a little spider from his hand. 
Is it Little Lily? It's pretty little. It's like a little. Is it as big as Little Lily? <gasps> is this just a spider you Where picked you up from that? the cell? Marvelous oh. beauty. This little beauty came and found me not but two days ago. I also produce a common household spider that I found <laughs> while cleaning the chamber pot. So you're like, I also found a spider. Is this a god? You hear, hey, my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he puts it away. No, that is just one of her many eyes. Oh, she sees oh. so much in our world. Eight eyes for. Not me. She can what? see through those hands. Oh. Let's see from the hands. Well, I mean, if she's already doing that, I'm not going to hurt it. Um, <laughs> okay, so we have a key that opens. Do we know what door it opens? All of them. All, all of them. All or of at them? least enough of them. It's a skeleton key, yeah. Okay, but like, but it opens all of them, but not the cell key. So how is that a skeleton key? Well, because it's a skeleton key for a bunch of things, just not this one thing. Okay, okay. So instead well, of the NPCs, I'm going to anything. target all of you this time around. Please make wisdom saves. <laughs> all around. Am I still poisoned? Actually, no. Okay. Eight. Fail. Eleven. Fails. Fourteen. Fails. What? Six. Fails. Oh. All across the board, all of you gain one point of madness. Oh. As in your minds, you just <laughs> see 10 times 10,000 spiders crawling all over you, each of them dragging their little legs across. Maybe you don't feel so weird about this. But then they begin to bite into you, and you feel a terrible pain for all of a flash of a second, and it's gone. Stool, and I you feel a little oh. strange. I don't know what you're doing, Stool. But it's not me. Do I both love better? it and hate it. Can you please give me some of that good yep. powder? <laughs> yep. We might need to lay you on. don't feel it. Mm -hmm. He's giving you the good stuff. <laughs> He's not feeling it for one, two. Well, my jaw is grindy, right? Twelve seconds go by, and then <laughs> it starts to come back, and you feel better. All right, all right, yeah. But <laughs> each of you keep that point of madness on your character sheet. This might come up a little later. All right. Nice. Okay. Here's my thought. We have a skeleton key. I can make my, as an actor, I can make myself look like a guard. We have Stool, who, by his own words, can make people feel real good or real bad. You bet. So, why don't we make our guard feel real bad? We inca well, he's distracted by that, we incapacitate him. I assume his identity. We take the skeleton key. We walk out with fake medicals, adorning our wrists. Well, not me, because I'd be a guard. <laughs> and then... Uh, Quiet down, down in there! As a uh, whip cracks in your direction. <laughs> uh, this one seems to actually connect with you, though, <laughs> as you take two points of uh, whip damage. Whip <laughs> damage! <laughs> 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 Owie! Is there any safe place in the cell for me to uh, investigate further on this little gemstone? Uh, you can try at the back of the cell and Boopido can try to shield you from it. Sure. All right. And as you go to ignite your magic, you find you aren't able to cast in here. There seems to be something missing, as if you can't cast while you're in this cell. Hmm. Hmm. in space. Hmm. Interesting, but I think our abilities still work here. I think if we are going to come up with a plan, um, then we should Consider this one time in the Frostfall Mountains of Zenahyar. We were captured briefly, of course, but we let ourselves seem ill in the morning. And when the guards entered, we got the drop on them. And I believe if we combine these plans, take the guards that would normally put us to task every morning and capture them in here, Take our skeleton key to retrieve your items of great import. And as at the same time, follow down to the our tasks down to the bridge where the where the pool is. And then use our numbers and our uh, presumed captured state to overwhelm the guards briefly. Toss them into the pool and use those moments to escape. I love it with the exception 
of the tossing them into the pool. The thing is, they have all the power, and we are right. powerless people. Right, when they're in the pool being devoured by a horrible ooze, we shall make our escape. Yes, oh, but they hey, I bet you I have something you need. What's that? And then you gotta bet me for it. Oh, if you need it, then I... you gotta give me your spoon. <gasps> My spoon, but what am I getting my my floor soup with? I'm gonna get out of here if I give you this thing. How about one gold? Otherwise, coin? you can bet against me. All How right, 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 right. One gold. My spoon. Where'd you keep that? I don't like gold. Yeah, I do have something you need, and it gives you a grappling hook for <gasps> your gold. Where did you keep this? I'm really good at things. <laughs> we all have our strengths here. Okay, all right. Besides, <clears throat> <laughs> eat it. <laughs> As far as the I spelled fire over here. Bet me that I couldn't sneak it all the way up here. And I did. And you notice that it's also got 20 feet of rope attached to it. Jesus. This That's rope. A long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the Woven out of the second webbing. Huh? The second webbing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You notice that the rope is actually made out of spider silk. Oh. Very strong. Very tensile good. strength of ridiculous. Capri, tell us what the tensile strength is. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Produce the knowledge. Produce it. <laughs> Produce it. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, so I was thinking me? maybe that I will bet you a gold that you can't get the key off the guard. I'll take that bet. Yeah, yes, sure. she took the bet. Can I get on this bet? I still have a spoon. Oh, and a spoon? Are you going to bet against him? Or are you going to bet with me? Or blah, 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 blah? Ooh. So you're betting with him or are you betting against him? Otherwise known as one fireball. <laughs> that totally makes sense. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Of so. Course. Now that we know the tensile strength of spider yes. silk, yes, um, I'm nothing gonna... can stop us. Wait, are you betting against him or are you betting for him? I'm going to say that he can't do it. <gasps> and I'm if he say... does do it, I'll give him the gold piece. Okay, well, I'm going to do a hedge bet where I bet that he can do it, but in the event that it takes him longer than five minutes to get up the thing, it's double or nothing. Okay! <laughs> Yay! This hedge bed is starting to feel like a real game stop. -er. <laughs> I'll so. go. I'll leave. <laughs> I'll leave. I'm in it. No, I'm keeping eat. count. The amount of times that I did this to you <laughs> versus the amount of times you did this to me. <laughs> it's not even close yet, but we'll get there someday. Okay. <laughs> um, okay um, Okay, while well, you do this, um, we will distract the guards in some sort of fashion while you're, will we go up there? I'm just, I'm trying to imagine how this is all gonna go down and I'm just trying to think a of like- A huge mess. Yes, I'm just trying to think of a way we can do this where it doesn't involve bloodshed. Not that I'm opposed to bloodshed, I mean I get a little peaked, but it's more the fact that I just don't think we'll win. Right, I don't mm -hmm. think you're wrong but perhaps the addition of our new grappling hook might change things. I have this, um, and I just kind of like pull it out from like under my robes, this long uh, rod, iron, iron rod. It's basically fashioned to into a club. I picked this up while I was here, you know, as I'm crawling around the floor, as I do, um, I came across this weapon and I've just kind of like kept it in between my bosom and in, you know, right, right here. And nobody's noticed. It's kind of amazing what you can sneak into here. Um, so I have this. I Maybe. Look at the grappling hook one more time. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. I'll, I'll hide. Don't worry. There's like a crevice right here okay. or on here. Okay. It's fine. Sure, Don't yeah. you know a deep gnome of holding when you see one? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <sighs> and we're back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay, so we'll we'll try to distract them. We'll grappling hook. Uh, is there a ledge that we can get up? That are we in a, a recess or a pit? No, it, it, you have a ceiling, <laughs> rock ceiling. 
So how is this grappling hook gonna get us out? The grappling hook isn't to get us out of the cage, it's to help us get down uh, to the pool. Deeper into so the pit? But you could swing it. Outside the, the, the metal bars, uh -huh. towards the guard, get his keys oh. and pull it in. You know what? I'll, t I'll take that bet, yeah. I don't know. Are you gonna bet? <laughs> <laughs> You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. I, uh, I, I could cast him, uh, press a dissertation, and I could get him to be distracted so that he turns away, and then we could hook the keys. Yeah, anything to improve our odds, which are minimum. I mean, as long as that doesn't affect your bet, sure. And I swear on the gnomish god that you can do this. And you have this feeling of expertise swirling about you. Take yeah. double your proficiency when making this check. Okay. Because you gonna. feel... Uh, uh, what check am I going to make here? What check are you going to make here? Shall I call out for the guard? Guard! Guard! There's sodomy happening here! Guard! <laughs> guard! <laughs> Roll <Wrong> persuasion. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking Or rude. deception. Either. Either is oh, fine. Yeah. Oh, Go well, for if it. I'm going to do deception, do I have yeah. advantage on this? Yes, I'm not, absolutely. Nice. Yes. I'm not proficient in sleight of hand. Oh my god. Okay, you will 26. Have expertise in like whatever you choose. Okay. Then 20. I will choose sleight of hand. Okay. So now 20 to 26. Nice. Yeah. You have advantage as the guard is not paying okay. attention. Guard, the sodomy. It's disgusting. Guard. <laughs> guard. <laughs> Just like that. Who goes there with their judgments? <laughs> Guard. Starting to, like, you scum don't deserve anything. Not even my attention. My guard, the sodomy. At least look, because it's quite interesting. Uh, that's not sodomy, that's an iron rod. I don't even How know How did you get sodomy. that in there? I have a lot of folds. How'd you do? So uh, it will be plus eight and it was a natural 20. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like. <laughs> On top of that, the way that you just angle it perfectly as he's turning his head to be like, what an iron rod smacking his head from your grappling hook as he's knocked out and on the back pull, you hook it onto his key ring and pull it in towards yourself. Excellent. The guard is knocked out. So are we like... Uh, quickly now, there are three more across the way. Mm -hmm. When you hear a boom, and you hear the drow horns going off, that's not good. Was that me? No, that would have been two blasts. Okay. Three blasts is evacuate. So one is for a fire. <laughs> An inside joke. I hate, I hate you so much. Uh, safety talk happening live. <laughs> Where's the muster station? We have to get there. Something You're absolutely happier. right. Let's go. We must assemble underneath. Other side of the bridge. We can lower ourselves down. We can escape across the rope bridge. Okay. No, we need to get to the officer's quarter first. I'm with you. Let's go. Open those gates. Weapons are just another way of us to die. Um, Already we have to get out of here. Okay, well, I'm gonna go up to the guy and I'm going to uh, give him a little look, see, I'm gonna drag him into the cell and uh, I'm gonna start uh, disguising myself as this person. What was this guard armed with? Oh, neat. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, uh, I draw a long sword. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I draw a short crossbow. Okay. Small. So when I'm gonna yeah. pick up Short. some floor soot and zhuzh my cheeks, put on some natural drow Damn rouge, mind. and um, like, you know, eat my ears, Fishing. and cast a uh, distinct disguise self and uh, become the drow guard. Yeah. <laughs> As you exit the cell, you feel your magic come back to you, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and you become the drow guard. Uh, they uh, hey, also see? have a leather cuirass that they have on, if you want to take a few minutes to take it off and put it on yourselves. Uh, also a um, magical cape. Yeah, I'm gonna take all the things. Uh, you would recognize it instantly as a Piafli. A what? The uh, elven cape, the drow cape rather. Uh huh. Piafli, it's uh, pretty special stuff. Um, I'm gonna need that cape, please. Okay, but is it gonna make me it's... not look like a guard if I don't have this magic cape? 
uh, stool begins to glow even more and has a second rune of inspiration on them, should you need it. Will that, uh, sorry, will that cape affect their disguise if he doesn't have it? Uh, there's a magical one uh, part of their disguise right now. Yeah, yeah, as a part of the disguise. Part of your disguise is you look exactly as they do. Oh, right, right. okay. So oh, you don't, you don't it. need to put it on. Got By it. all means. Okay. Uh, I would, uh, can I look this up? How do you spell that? P I uh, N G O. There's a W and some. Uh, yeah, I don't have it off the top of my head. I'll take the long sword and hand the crossbow to my shooter friend. <laughs> And I'm just gonna look cute and all drow-like. I've always wanted to play a drow. Not that, you know, I, I realize that's kind of an offensive thing to say, but I'm just so excited to get to try something else, you see. And now here I am, dressed up in it. Oh, it's just so exciting. Okay, like, I don't go to the theater a lot, but I do know that not every yeah. part is for every actor. And I just walk away. <laughs> oh, I believe I've been called out. <laughs> as I, as I take your shoe polish away. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll Jolston ass motherfucker. Like, I don't know what hate crime happened here, but definitely one happened. <laughs> yup. All right. Well, you have it all advantage on all checks yep. being a uh, sailor actor bard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actor. It's magic based, really. It's not so much yeah. shoe shine. Yes. Looking great. Yeah. Uh, so much advantage. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So uh, the rest of you step out of the cell. Do you want to complete your little thing going on here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check now that I'm out of whatever room block there may have been. Mm -hmm. um, speeding up the process, you take about a minute while they kind of gather themselves to cast this. Are there any like um, fake ma like, are there any manacles that we can just fake on their wrists? Uh, there's some on the drop. Oh, perfect. Okay, so just kind of like you know, not latch them, but like here, guys. Oh, you also find a vial of drow poison. Uh, it's enough to coat 20 bolts or arrows uh, with poison, or uh, you can spread it across a blade and it will last for approximately a minute. I think this is more of a you guys thing. I'll take that. Yeah. Coat your fist. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives? <laughs> My prince, please come with us. I'm gonna put on uh, the... Yeah, he, he's ready to go. Uh, as you as you take this this gem and you identify it, mm -hmm. it's a gem of feather falling. Yes. Ooh. So this means that you can uh, fall a great distance and not die. Excellent. Uh, ah, in fact, you can expand it. It's a little better than uh, the spell you know. It's enough to take twenty creatures safely in a fall. Ooh. All right. As you step out of the entrance of your cell and you peek out to see what's happening, you see several things all at once. A massive fire going off uh, in the officer's quarters. Okay. And you hear the flap of incredible wings, thick and heavy as a massive uh, creature that is uh, pale compared to the rest of the Underdark. Uh, is flying about, flapping across, uh, as they you hear the drow exclaim, "Rock, rock in the skies!" Oh. I think we should go in the opposite direction. If there's already a fire it, where the weapons are kept, I don't think we should go there because they're gonna be trying to put that out. I'll be back, uh, and I'm gonna go uh, to where the weapons are kept in the flames. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there he goes. All right. Yeah, we're, that's where we're so headed. So you're going to head towards <laughs> the stuff? Yeah. I'm like, uh -huh. are we splitting up here? Are you heading towards the getting away? Oh, Brian doesn't like to be left alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, we'll continue on like, eh, hey, 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 <laughs> behind him. Comes with you. All right, heading towards uh, where the officers' quarters are. There are several rope bridges. Uh, again, this rope is made with spider silk that allow you to cross. These are normally manned by guards, but they are on the far side of Velkenvelv, dealing with this demon threat. It's a rock? A rock. You said, which is a giant bird? The demon? rock. Oh, the rock? The rock. Oh, do I know about this? 
Sailors? You can make a uh, history or nature check. Sure. Right. Anyone like can. A sailor's tale about this. Sure. Make a make a history check with advantage. Ooh. All right. It's the same for me either Minus way. Minus one for oh, three. <laughs> I know exactly what a rock is. Um, I've faced them twice before. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven? Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness, third time? What is over, oh, no. over there? After use those I was one. Don't use Yeah, use the, yeah. Use, yeah. The, use, like, the, use the mid size. Or oh, the tiny one. The tiny, tiny one. one. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> sometimes all you need is just a little <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How'd you do? How'd you do? Is it good? 15? 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With advantage nine. Wow! <laughs> oh my god, what's a rock? Oh, is it a demon? Is it a bird? Uh, it's use, Superman. You know, I'm gonna use inspiration because I think we all did terrible on that. Yeah, you want to. I'm gonna, does somebody... my, I'm gonna use my inspiration and redo that. I think I already time. Re roll. Cool. Yes, I count our inspiration and our one shots as re rolls. Well, I got seven. So. <laughs> This dice is in jail, dice jail. Whatever it is, you're grateful it's here because it's keeping the drow's attention away from you. There you go. Let's go. You go across. Yeah, um, I, I'm putting on the cloak at the same time. I know I can't use its effects yet, but that's okay for now. Okay. He steps behind, long sword drawn, just ready to go. Uh, you notice that the, uh, uh, the door is closed as you get to the far side. And um, with your passive perceptions, you see that there's some smoke coming out the windows. Ashore! And I'm gonna step aside. As you go to unlock the door yeah. and you touch it, you take one fire damage. Okay. It's hot. It's gonna hot things are hot. out at you when you open the door. This is how fire works, you put all because you're I'm, I'm gonna fire. step to the side. I'm gonna like basically use my um, uh, patient d d d defense and I'm going to bam and slam the, the door open. Can you use patient defense yet? No, that's level two! Can I go up to him and just be like, I've been a I'm a, I'm a, I haven't been You're a You're just a wee little monk. baby! I've never been a level one monk in so long. Friend, I'm gonna go up to you and just kind of put my hand on your chest and just linger a little bit too long, like just a little bit uncomfortable, and just be like, you got this, and I cast Bardic Inspiration. Take your inspiration back as well because you just about made me spit out my drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and, you feeling uh, inspired? Let's yeah. go. Step what back, please. <laughs> and I'm gonna. Uh, I'll just ready a d dodge action if I can and kick it open. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just give me an attack roll. See what what happens. Don't roll a one. Cool. Two. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, that's not a one. Eight. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> eight still hits it. You're good. Yeah. Bash through the door. It. You break it open. I. I had also unlocked it. So yeah. it's just to. Yeah. So you take the damage, yeah. Uh, breaking down this door, uh, you see inside that the flames have coated in and there are several dead drow inside, wreathed in flame. You know that to get to Ilvara's quarters uh, or the, like, the priestess shrine, you have to get through here and up. Okay, okay. Uh, when we go that way, are we continuing to go past that way or are we coming back through here? Uh, you will have to come back. Have to come back. Yes, because okay. the exit is over here, and you're going like up here to where all the quarters okay. and stuff are. Who's good with ju 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 juking around fire? Is it just me? Uh, Let's go. I can kinda... act like a Let's firefighter. Go As I, I'll get kind of like in the door, like, like I'll go first, and I'll just be like, oh, okay. Sarah turns to the rest of them and goes, we'll guard the bridge and hold it here. You get our stuff. Let's go. And I'll like take a brave Go step forward. Oh! I just like, <laughs> and like. Anyone entering into this uh, fiery uh, apartment area, uh, please make a constitution save. Nope, oh, Brian's hanging out outside. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's that, just that like. That is sensible. Fuck. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> God, you're That's good huge. where you are, That's actually. Huge. Holy shit! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the, the, so bad idea. Um, how does Bardic Inspiration work? Uh, D6? You, yeah, so you, for uh, what? For 10 minutes, once uh, basically, uh, you can add a D6 to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Saving throw! Yeah. All right. Uh, 
Uh, 18 total. 18. Did good. Didn't inhale any of that smoke. Uh, Throat's still a bit swollen from earlier. (laughs) With my bardic inspo, I still only rolled an eight. Um, please uh, inhale some smoke for me. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is our boy Stool? <laughs> yeah. Stool, <laughs> Stool, now's the time. Put up more, put up more. Uh, put some work in the fire. Oh, we could try it. Uh, what effect does so, it have on uh, me? As you're trying to breathe, you uh, begin to suffocate. Oh. And uh, you, uh, your speed drops to zero for a moment. Okay. Uh, are you going in there as well? Uh, yes, and I rolled a 23. Hell yeah. I guess because I'm a dwarf, I'm below the smoke level. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep low. Natural born sprinters. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you make it through. You see that your friend, though, is uh, struggling there as uh, Ashari uh, is doubled over coughing, and you see the Flames beginning to lick uh, closer and closer to the raggedy robes that they're wearing. They could ignite at any time. Do you keep going, or do you try to do something about this? I guess they didn't feed my dog to me, so. <laughs> ah. I'll, I'll, I'll push him down and drag him. <laughs> <laughs> Just face this first. Like, <laughs> face first, and then grab the arm and give the old heave-ho. Yeah. Miraculously, no burns. But uh, your pride might be a little wounded as you've got face drag on. Any splinter checks? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just for you. Just, just for like... you. No splinters. Damn. Excellent. That's a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'll be like at the next door with the key, like, like trying to lock it and like shoulder it open. Yeah, uh, unlocks easily uh, and opens quite easily as if it's been recently oiled. Uh, stepping inside, you see a uh, large chamber with your patron on the far side. Queen of spiders, Wolf herself, as a statue looking down upon all of you. <laughs> Her eight spider eyes glimmering and her two humanoid eyes seem to follow you around the room. You see a pile of cushions to one side uh, meant to be sat upon while um, prayers are administered. Uh, And on the other side, you see a large bed that seems to sleep at least four people. Very large bed. This religion fucking parties. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Which way now? I don't like point to... to Oh, could you you also see Skogar. rows of chests and uh, lockers that would contain items. Items that you perhaps lost. In there. You're up! And I'll like toss you the skeleton key. Seriously, yeah. any uh, boat <clears throat> oars, maybe? <laughs> you uh, run towards the all all lockers. Go calling out, just this raging yeah. fire. Yeah. There's no way we can. Passive perceptions, you three. Passive? <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, Maybe there's my robot in there. Oh, ten. Passive perception. Passive perception. Uh, perception plus ten. Perception plus ten. Oh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So, in no short order, you make it quickly across the room. When you all realize that that pile of cushions on the side, no cushion at all. It's actually a giant spider. Yeah. Furry and everything, as it flings webs across the room to stick each of you to your spot. I need all of you to make dexterity saves, except for Brian McDougall, who's safe down below, <laughs> watching the fire creep inside and begin to burn out this. Is stool beside me? Stool is beside you. Stool. I don't know if we should stay or go because that I think they're dead in the flames. <laughs> <laughs> you do see three bodies in there. Oh God. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were the drow's bodies, but maybe they're I'm your friends. I'm pretty sure I, I could know. just walk out of here dressed as a as a guard with stool and like. But I also overwhelmingly care about everybody around me to a fault. So. How do dexterity saves go? Um. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yep. A natural one. Oh jeez. Oh. Nineteen. Nineteen. You two save. You. <laughs> You have this like unnatural sense being from the Underdark to know when spider webs are coming your way and just kind of whoop out of the way, does not stick you anywhere. 
Hobart concave. <laughs> you gotta cut it, and it just like completely wraps around you. You're like, <laughs> you are restrained. Yeah. And roll initiative. You can roll initiative too if you want. Um, Brian is just gonna be overwhelmed with his sense of duty and come in there. So he's gonna roll initiative. Crawling Hell yeah. He's crawling in though. His sa standard move of crawling on the floor and he's heard the whole thing like, keep low to the ground and he's singing it to himself. It's brilliant. <laughs> in your mind, you remember something from not too long ago. A whip in your mind. Make a wisdom save as you do so. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Two. Oh yeah, I got these from Trevor. Oh, they nice. Uh, you're afraid of yourself? Drows? <laughs> you're afraid of drow at the moment. Oh no, well good thing there's only dead drows But you can't see that drow just yet. Yeah. But you do see a drow behind you as Sarah is looking at you like, what's going on? <laughs> Uh, initiatives, real quick. 16. 16? <laughs> so. Nine. Is he doing a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some Charlie Ch Chaplin shit right there. It's like Wait, every what? time you talk to me. Is this, Is this for real or a bit? What happens you see yourself in the mirror? <laughs> How'd, uh, how'd <laughs> Sir <laughs> Hobart do over there, restrained? Yeah. I'm just going to put you at the end. Oh, sorry? Yeah. What did you roll for your image? Oh, 13. 13? Okay. I rolled 17 before I was scared. Do, 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 do. Oh, what? Spike. Wow, spider. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's uh, start things off then with saying, uh, Ashari, what's your deck score? Um, total or modifier? Uh, total. 18. 18, okay. Brian, start us off. You're yeah. scared. Oh, I'm fucking scared. But uh, if I crawl in below the flames, below the smoke, and I get to the room where I see a spider, still looking like a drow uh, guard, I'm going to say, oh wait, spider? I told them to come in here and get things. This is my <laughs> job. You do your job. Stop it. Stop it. You hear, <laughs> and does any of you speak Sylvan? No, no, I speak Undercommon though. No. All right, Undercommon. You know what, let's go Undercommon. Oh, you speak I speak Undercommon? That, yes, I do sure. speak Sylvan as well. My name's not Spider. I'm so sorry. And then you feel the room, the smoke, Mm -hmm. Closing in around you. <laughs> Make a con save. <laughs> uh, 19. It is good. You may get through the room with the smoke <laughs> and the fire, and you are on the other side, but you have not convinced the spider. Spider, I'm so sorry. It's my first day. What is your name? <laughs> in amongst all the flames. We'll get to the spider's turn a little later. Ashai. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm like... This conversation's dumb. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, just, um, I'm just gonna. Yeah, you're only a few steps away from. Yeah, me. just and like it, it isn't even like a walk up to him and then attack. It's just like a flying knee right his way. Uh, <laughs> right to the thorax. Right to the thorax. <laughs> How big a spider are we talking about? It's big. Yeah, it's big? like a dog? yeah, <laughs> bigger. Like a big dog? Like a like big. A, like a mini pony? Yeah. Sure. All right. Just avoid the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> mini na pony. Mandibles, <laughs> for sure. Little That's the spider's thing. Uh, does 12 hit? 12. Does not hit. No, okay. you're just under. Okay, bonus action attack then? Yeah, you gotta like, and you're like, oh, that's a little harder on the carapace than I thought. Yeah, neat, huh? neat. That won't hit either then. Crap. Yep. Oh, you know, I've never actually fought one of these. <laughs> is he like standing on it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is your name? My <laughs> name is Aravel. As it slides into you, uh, pulling back its little claws that are inside of its uh, two front uh, little spider parts. 
Mm-hmm. Mandible? Yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not like Teddy Pelps. Yeah, yeah. Just like... The what? Teddy Pelps. Teddy Pelps are the two arms in the front. Hate that. That's the word. That's pretty good. Uh, spider rolled a 19 to hit you. How's your AC? That's a hit. Yeah. Uh, please make a constitution save. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but please save, otherwise maybe this will be worse. 11? I didn't save, huh? Do you have anything you can do about that? Oh, we have the inspo pool. Do it. Yep. Yeah. Do it, or this is coming your way. That was a word. Four. Uh, instead of that, uh, yeah, no, yep. Yeah. So what would have only been four piercing damage. Yeah. This is now a substantial amount more. Uh, you take eight more poison damage. Holy shit. For 12 total. I'm down, I'm out. Yep. Shit. Hobart. Oh, You're restrained. You can't get out of those things. You want to try and break the restraint? I will absolutely use my action to try and break out of here. Okay. Uh, make an athletics or strength check of your... Yeah, that's the only strength check there is. I'm just saying, oh, no, I'm not powerful enough for that kind of business. Oh. I'm gonna use it because somebody needs to do something or we're all going to die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> what was the first one? 11. 11? You're okay. You break out. The DC's 10. <laughs> and I'll like pull the sword down. Damn that. <laughs> out you go. Uh, nice. Bonus action movement? Um, yes. Uh, Bonus action, I will move to the spider. Um, or, and then, uh, that's, I guess, that's, that's about it. I guess I don't really have any bonus actions. Um, I will just hold my sword out, uh, looking at him, and I'll look over to our friend, like, you better hurry the flip up. <laughs> Score good Get ready. Um, what's my distance? Uh, like, you're 15 feet away from it. Okay. But you're right at the, uh, locker. So I'm at the locker. So am I close enough to open the locker? You're close enough to open the locker. As a free action? Yep. Okay. I, I open the locker okay. as a free action. You have a one in four chance of this being the locker with your blunderbuss. <sighs> okay. Call it. What number do you want? Three. One, two, three, or four. Three? That is very cocked. I've never seen it like wedge itself into oh, a dice yeah, tray. Yeah, these holy ones. That's a three. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Open it, you see inside your beautiful, describe your blunderbuss. So, it's nickel plated. It is a rich uh, river oak that I salvaged <laughs> from deep, deep underneath. Uh, in a old pool, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's old faithful, is what I call it. Old faithful. Old Snatching faithful. it back up, you turn around to see the situation in front of you, and I pull the trigger. Do it. Which technically works because it was loaded from the yeah, time yeah, you got, got it loaded. Right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, but y'all don't know how to load a gun. I roll a twenty-four. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> Give me some damage. Okay, um, so damage is 2d8 plus 3. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You have a chance to kill uh, this. 19. 19. <laughs> 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 what does the spider goo look like as uh, it's done for? On one half. You see smoldering bits and pieces against the wall. On the other, you see a bard covered in guts. <laughs> <laughs> the spray getting all the way to Brian McDowell. And he's just like... And without realizing it, Brian, you have, you have stool yeah. in your arm still. And yeah. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and 
And Brian's like, well, and when in Rome? <laughs> it tastes not that bad, actually. Like, nice. um, like uh, an apple that's like been on the ground for a long time. Oh, am I getting drunk? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Wait, yeah, a little bit. Oh. I didn't know Spire could make you a little tipsy. Yeah, with the spider dead, the encounter is over. But you've still got a friend not doing so well. And before, I, uh, Brian is cast, next in the initiative order. Can I cast some healing word on my friend here? Absolutely. Hey, Moses, a poses, a toses, a roses. Uh, it's so nice. <laughs> Your eyes just song. open up from almost dying. And I cast some uh, eight healing on you. Woo, yeah. that's good. As the light, as, as the light closes <laughs> in, you just see Brian like, oh. Reaching out, like, ah, oh, no, shit. And yeah. this mushroom, like, eating the goo. Yeah. <laughs> was, was that spell, like, to the tune of Barracuda? It was actually to the tune of, like, uh, singing in the rain. Oh, okay, got it. It's, I heard Barracuda. <laughs> I mean, you can, that's, that's a more current reference. <laughs> Believe you mean a Barracuda. Right, yeah. Barracuda. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, I'm I slipping back I should have stayed dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's grab our weapons because I'm out of spell slots because I'm just a level one bard. So oh. let's get the fudge out of here. Right. Yeah, I'll just be standing there with my sword and be like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, real talk, if I had rolled better on that, I could have killed you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. You literally I can't believe how So, you have you all have. of your That's equipment crazy. back. You have taken it all. You would have had to have rolled a 16, and you could have. Did you find 3D, my, well, 4d6 total. Yeah. So, yeah. so very important. Did I find my oars from my rowboat? No. <laughs> oh, you find oars. You find a... Um, you do find a, uh, a piece of uh, paper in there that's parchment mm -hmm. um, that has some signing I on it. Swear. But it's an undercommon. Do you speak undercommon? I do speak undercommon. <laughs> do you speak undercommon? Great. It is a receipt. <gasps> Your oh. boat is being held in Slubadop. <gasps> Slubadop! That's where we have to go! I can get my boat. I can get you on the booze really? cruise. I'll get you guys the golden bracelet. It'll allow you to have un uh, uh, unlimited drinks after 11 p.m. Oh wow, you're really happy. I'm not doing that, you are. Yeah, I love my own. It's like, it's like you're, I, I'm so high all the time, it doesn't even affect me. I've created a tolerance. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I would, uh, I would like stool to begins to glow a little bit more as another one of your inspirations is added to your pool. I would like oh. to very quickly stool. and like hurriedly uh, extract the poison tipped mandibles from this slain. Uh, Ooh, make a survival check. <laughs> is my Don't hammer fuck it off. and uh, my hammer and armor and everything oh, else? Everything my, my knightly gear. It's all in there. I will. I will not doff it because I know that'll take too long. But I will equip you the hammer. Might have time. I'd say, like, if you want to put all your equipment on right fire. now, take the time to do it. I rolled a twenty-two total. Good, because I was going to roll those, those D6s again. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you extract them quite handily. And uh, and that's what I'm going to use. As wield a it as a weapon. You could try and inject the poison directly into someone by stabbing them. Yeah. There's a risk of it injecting you, though, if you mess up on your stab. Okay. Uh, you could further refine this later by extracting the poison and using it as certain sort of like injury poison where you could coat a weapon right. and use it to its effect yeah. that way. And, and I do already have the poison from yes. that mm -hmm. loot, so I'll keep these just, just tucked a away. Just more um, I forget what I had in my g g gear. Uh, I, I forget what everything was. Um, the um, spider on the wall. Yes. This ate like a god. What about the eyes? Can I extract the eyes? Interesting. You could try prying out the uh, two like onyx spheres that make up uh, lol size, absolutely. Meanwhile, Brian's just over here trying to put out the flames so they don't <laughs> spread. Take your time, guys. No hurry. I'm gonna so, like, take the eyes, but as I go up to the spider, <laughs> I say, you killed my dog. <laughs> Fucking bastard. <laughs> so the question I leave to you is, do you really want to 
desecrate Loth's shrine right here and now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me, uh, what kind of check do you want to make to pry these out? Uh, do you want to do like athletics and do it like, like really pry them out? Do you want to take your time, maybe finesse it a little bit, sleight of hand? Uh, sleight of hand, I guess. Okay. Uh, 19. Nice. That wasn't just anyone's dog. That dog <laughs> 19, yeah. Score pry them <laughs> both out, oh. and as you get the you first one out, anyone. You feel a chill go down your spine. And as you go for the second one and get get your dagger kind of wedged in there to kind of pry it out, everything just kind of goes black. As in your mind, you see Loth come over you. I want to be having any of this. And you feel all the energy beginning to leave your body. Please roll a hit die and expend all of your cell slots. Oh. Um. Okay, so do I get an advantage because... It's a hit die. Oh, a hit die? Uh, which is a d8 for artificers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where should I be clicking? Um, this is the hardest thing to find on D&D &D Beyond. I'm oh, so yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hit die are at the top um, in that weird place. Uh, short rest. Right. Uh, and yet so easy to find on roll. Yeah, uh, click, click short rest. You click yeah. short rest there. Short rest. Yeah. Thank yep. you. You can just roll the D8. Oh, okay. Add your constitution modifier. Oh, man, I know what's happening. Oh, my God. It's not good. It's not. Uh, eight. Eight plus your con mod? That is, with including my con That's mod. Include, okay, eight. Please subtract your maximum hit points by eight. <gasps> okay. As the curse of Loth has been placed on you. But you have her two eyes in your hand as you aren't quite dead. And you don't see any wounds on you, you just feel weak. I have no more healing word, so you guys, we have to get the F out of here. Come on. Yeah. Are you okay? That looks like it sucked. And we'll like put on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, The rest of you notice this, that uh, under your right cheek is a spider marking of wolf, indicating you are cursed. Oh, hmm. that's, um, hey, that's really bad. But uh, I don't have time to explain it right now. Just don't get hurt, OK? You wouldn't get a prison tattoo with me, but then you get a spider <laughs> put on your What the hell? <laughs> What am I, chopped up liver? <laughs> no, don't answer that, because I know it'd be delicious. <laughs> compared to the soup here. All right, come on, guys. It's Let's burning. Go. Let's go. Come okay. on. <laughs> Making your way back, you see that the, uh, the rest of your group have put out the fire. Mm -hmm. And you make your way back across the rope bridge. And you get here, to where the cages are. You can still hear the demon shrieking off in the distance, as whatever is going on over there is pretty rough. What would you like to do? Okay, friends, I am still uh, disguised as a guard. So, put on these fake manacles, not found, and step behind me, we'll be it's walking like out of here. It's mad panic. Do you sure we need the manacles? They could prevent us from... Well, you're not binding them, you're just well, putting them I on your wrist. I am fully armored. As you approach <laughs> where the, uh, where the, the uh, elevator is that is to be lowered, yeah. uh, you notice that there's three blood stains across the deck as dark purple drow oh. blood is scattered all over. Oh my. I feel like that's who we would have to answer to right now. So like maybe being a guard isn't the most advantageous thing, um, but we could flee in a stealthy hurry. As you oh, peek over the edge, you also notice that uh, the three bodies of the drow that were up here are dashed across the cliff, <gasps> along with all the quagoth that were Assisting with the yes. raising and lowering. Brock still here? Uh, you don't know what that is. Got it. Is the <laughs> thing still here? Yeah, probably. Uh, Jaw don't do this to each other. Quagoth, even though they have these crazy claws, they don't do that to each other either. We'd have to go down towards that thing to get out. Uh oh, this is just for the camera. Oh. <laughs> Not down there. Off right. off over here. Okay. Alright. Got it. Okay, um, all right, well, let's go down 
and then hopefully things just work out because um, I mean that's pretty much the plan. Yeah. Hopefully things just work out. That's how it's working. Here, How'd you like to get down? Do you want to go down like one by one or draw poison? I think we just all Ooh. take a poison the, uh, needle. Oh, perfect. I'll take a poison yeah. needle. Awesome. Yeah. I've, I've got my own elevator. Do you have any weapons mm -hmm. at all? Can you use any? The gem. Uh, oh. What's your case? Like, can we give what? you a crossbow or something? The gem. Yeah, we can, we can jump oh, yeah, from any distance, crossbow, and it will stop us from falling and yeah. getting hurt. Oh. Just say you took a crossbow, because he's got his blunderbuss now. All right. Oh. Hand, hand McDougal the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how to use one, but I do know how to aim in a general direction. It's just like... Me need weapons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll, I'll toss if, the crossbow. If you got away. that freaking thunder device, let me tell um, you, that was something. All right, crossbow it is. What are we doing? We're trying to sneak? Click, click, click. He taps his <laughs> peg well, leg. I've, I've got the Heatherfall gem. <laughs> Let's so go. Rapid elevator. We just jump. Yeah. Yeah, you can, totally. You can. Let's go. All of us, up to 20 creatures. Oh. I can jump with you. Huh? I'll put my hand in your hand, like on the crystal, like I'm with you. Flying V. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like put my hand on your chest in just a very uncomfortable way, and at the same time give you bardic inspiration. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, while I do it, it's just this long exhale, like. <sighs> That's not weird at all. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, it is. It's, pretty weird. it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> so, everyone is jumping together? <laughs> yep. I got my toad flying, in my arm. V formation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Brian, no! Jump! Yay. I'm already there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> as you jump, we, oh, we busted all you these cast Feather Fall as it is cast. Uh, however, there are spiders laying in wait in their webs, and as you pass through, not hitting their webs, two of them jump and hit Topsy and Turvy <gasps> as they hit into here, as you hear the crunch of bone, as... Oh, those guys were... Yeah. Eh, yeah they were looks like they're for lunch, greedy bastards. The spiders skitter away, bodies in their fangs as they get out of reach. I now understand this gang tattoo that you have on your face, and I will totally get one more out of here because, you don't like, want it. you don't want it. Oh, I think I do. Oh, I'm telling you, you don't. <laughs> is the prince with us? Of course, I would assume. Uh... Yep, everyone else is with you. So, you've lost Runt, you've lost Topsy and Turvy. Hey. As long as I got my, you, my good you? friend know, Stool he's, he's with like... me, giving me cool, good vibes. Do we see his skeleton floating in the jelly in the middle of the blood? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the blob, idiot. Uh, yeah, there seems to be some pretty raggedy clothes left, and that cocoon is just... Mm -hmm. As you descend, Run. though, and you get on your, your float, you see that the gem is still glowing. Seems it has a few more charges of this. Mm. Um, but you hear from a pie. Prisoners are escaping! Get them! And then Indeed. I yell up, No, no, I'm taking in this direction on purpose. T Who's that? Us to Mary Paul. Uh, oh, and I impersonate the, the voice of the guard, and I'm sure I've overheard his name, because I've been in here for over a week, you know, and he's probably said his name, so I would know this, right, Sam? Goldor. Goldor. It's Goldor! Screw Goldor! Get him! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Can I not do a performance check or something? <laughs> <laughs> you sound pretty seriously like Goldar. Yeah, it's definitely Goldar. But you're also taking a bunch of prisoners with you. No, that's cool. They're totally armored up, but they're with me. <laughs> we are to fight the terrible yeah. thing. I'm we, sending we will them, defend the fort. I'm sending them to their death. Help me out here. <laughs> they don't believe you. Oh, come on! I have advantage on this shit. I know you have advantage. I rolled percentile. Damn it. Okay, let's run. Uh, let's go, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just lift you by your, your suspenders. I don't know. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
every sound you've made matches the picture you sent me of him. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. 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 Just flapping somehow. Yeah. Like, in the wind. So with everyone attempting to get over to the bridge. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna write you in my How many report. charges does that Featherfall crystal have, my friend? <laughs> uh, as you're running the over the out. drow, all of them begin to descend as Ildith turns back. I'll fend them off! You get them to safety! Sarath, now's your chance! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fleeing, you fool. <laughs> Uh, he's actually first in line. <laughs> he's very fast. Yeah, he's he, he's crazy fast. Natural 20. So fast. <laughs> uh, like, let's all right. roll an initiative as we get into a little sure. chase scene to get away. <laughs> yeah, that sounds boring. 19. 14? Uh, yep. Six. Six. Seventeen. Good number. Good number. Oh, hello. Stop. I hit the space bar. <laughs> Stupid space bar. Takes it for kids. And now there's an equal sign. Okay. So we're going to have Joe be very slow. Uh, Scorgamore, you're up first. Oh, so, uh. You're kind of like mid pack here. Um, this is your chance to run really fast or. Up to you. I've got three life. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I. I'm going to cast Long Strider and give myself some uh, rapid movement nice. for an hour. Nice. Do you have spells? I do. Nope, you burn nope. them all. Yeah. Loth burn oh. them all. As part of the... Damn. It's uh, a cool tattoo. Yeah, and also you have three HP. Yeah. Maximum. I, well, I mean, I'm, I'm running. I'm running. Tell you what. Uh, why don't you make an Arcana check or a History check? See what you know about this curse. Twenty-two. Twenty-two is real good. You feel like maybe if you weren't carrying the eyes of Loth on you anymore, that might help you out a little bit. But you can still carry them. Uh, I'll drop them and I'll stomp them. <laughs> oh no! They killed my dog. <laughs> um, what else would you like to do? Um. Uh, the curse won't get lifted right away, will it? No. Not like that. Not like that. Um, I'm going to... Uh, can I go invisible? Uh, that is your ability as a Durgar. Sure. I'm going to go invisible. Invisible. Oh, nice. Self-preservation. Y'all on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you? This one. If you attack, do you go visible again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm assuming you're gonna just keep running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need a rest. <laughs> right. Um, Brian, uh, are there any, like, how is this place lit? Is it lit with, like, flames? It's lit! Uh, I'm gonna cast a Prestidigitation and just snuff out the flames around us so we get hmm. more darkness Yeah, uh, it's, us. it's not like it's fire, like, sorry. It's, it's, uh, you, you had it, the, you had the second thing, uh, like the bioluminescent moss right. is what lights this place. With Prestidigitation, could I dim that down to barely anything? Yes, but each individual, like, moss would have to be dimmed. Duh. And there's, like, thousands across this cavern. Duh. Purples and, and blues and greens. All right, can I uh, put a harmless little amount of boulders in front of them so it feels like they have insurmount, like not insurmountable, but it's gonna take them a while to clamber over things, you know, just like some mild off. Oh, like using like minor illusion? Yeah, minor yeah, illusion kind yeah, yeah. of thing. Um, certainly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> believe They're it. there. Yeah. You don't think they believe them. Damn it. <laughs> like they look real good. 
Yeah. But they're looking right through them. Oh, I'm the worst bard ever. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well that, well, that failed, so I can't probably cast another one, huh? Um, okay. So I'm just going to uh, be booking it with the team and go like, Okay. Keep up, fellas. <laughs> a little skip in your step. Yeah, I'm carrying, so carrying uh, stool. stool. Yep. Yeah, stool's Under my not arm, that heavy, like actually. a pillow. Uh, you get there. Mm -hmm. uh, bone it. Yeah, you're good. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I have much of a bonus action as a fair, healing fair, fair. word, which I can't use right now. Um, although I am going to cast a bardic inspiration on myself because I believe in you myself. Can't on yourself. Huh? You can't on yourself. Oh, High level right. bards can. Yes, that's right. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to um, believe in myself internally. <laughs> That works. That works really well. Okay. You, you're feeling like almost like a paladin for a moment. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Believe in yourself so much you could smite. Yeah, I've got some like classic Celine Dion music playing. So I really <laughs> run and I was like, I got this. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, sorry. Okay. Um, do I, I look back? What's the d d d dwarf's name who's kind of fending them off? Oh, that's Ildith. Ildith's right, right, right. Uh, uh, Ildith. Um, I see. Uh, I see her fending off the drow, and I. Uh, I go. Oh, a, don't kill kids. Don't let good people get hurt. I don't know. Fine. It's gonna suck for them though. And I uh, take the. Poison, and I'm gonna coat my uh, short sword with it. Um, and I uh, and I'm going to go and stand by her side. Oh my god! What? Oh. What? Do -do -do -do. And and I say, um, uh, my brethren, I humbly request that you choose t to live. On this day. Uh, they're looking at you like, finish this now. For our lady. Yeah, I thought you might say that. Can you do anything else? Um, was I'll coding it an action? Bonus, I'll call it a bonus. Cool. Then I will take uh, the dodge action. Solid. Ready to go. Uh, with that, Ildith is going to go. As she looks at her Warhammer, you see like all of these beautiful uh, dwarven like carvings on it. it. Seems to be like her lineage up until her. And you can see her little doodle at the bottom that she's carved in there. And she looks back. Hey, Jim Jar. I bet you can't take this back to my father. And throws it to him. Like, no, don't do it. She's like, and she turns around. I've been waiting for this a long time, Asha. As she charges and tackles her into the water. Whoa. As they wash down the river. We'll find out what happens to them a little later. Uh, the rest of our NPC friends are going to go. Uh, is gonna actually look at, look at everyone, look at what's going on, and uh, keep running. He's really, really fast. Oh, he's got a lot of movement. Jim Jar catches the thing, and then uh, bonus action, gonna, gonna get real far away. Um, Darren Doe is not as fast. Boopy Doe uh, is following along. And uh, like you, goes invisible. It might be Hobart's turn, but the Drow are going to go first. Okay. <laughs> uh, and let loose a crossbow bolt at your monk friend. And disadvantage. Yep. Uh, you know what? Let's do these ones. Have to hit 16. Where is my god with Drow? Oh, 16 with disadvantage. Oof. <laughs> it's a hit. No, <laughs> please make a con save. I don't have any of my cool monk stuff yet. Well, it won't minimum damage, but if you don't make this con save, it's going to look bad. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> it was a 19! 
thought it was a one. <laughs> you have inspiration in the pool from chat. I'll take it. I Holy mean, in the stool. In, in the stool. I'll take yeah. it. <laughs> now is the time. Thank Sam you. Thank you, chat. Sample that stool. <laughs> <laughs> God, three. Three? Oh. <laughs> Dice is... I'm not sure Ashari was meant to live. I don't think so either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, you've already taken five points of damage here. Yeah. From the, the dart hitting... Okay. Or the, the bolt hitting into you. Yeah. And then the damage from the poison... Is a minimum of what? Twelve. That's Seventeen. And it has to... Double your hit points total. So once you've hit zero, it must carry through another eight you said you had for your hit yeah. points? Yeah. So, so you hit me for five. Yes. And then... Twelve more. Twelve more. So five... Seventeen. Eight. Uh, so it would... It, so five uh, minus... Uh, so five. And then... So eight is my maximum, right? And then how much did it hit me for after that? Nine. Nine? Okay, it's fine. It has to double my yeah. HP? You have to be like it has to go eight more. Double HP. So if right. you have zero, eight more. Yeah. After zero, eight more? And what, did nine more. And it did nine more? So I am dead. You are dead. I'm dead. Oh. Do you so, have any last words for us, Ashari? Uh, as the uh, crossbow bolt hits me and the like, you could see like the black poison inject into my veins. Um, I just slump down and I, uh, I uh, kind of like look up at, uh, uh, at where, where I assume Lolf is. Um, and I say, see, you couldn't control me and I die. As you fall dead, spiderwebs wrap around your body and cocoon you for a moment as you see a bright light shine across as your body, or your soul, leaves your body. And you find yourself stepping onto another plane. And as you look around, you see stone all around you, hellfire burning as Loth looks down upon you, lowering from the ceiling to your position. Welcome home. We have much work to do around here, you and I. Yeah, I know. Is she missing two eyes? <laughs> <laughs> you see, out of the, in the corner of your eye, what appears to be this like demonic lord wrapped in webs, immobilized, fang marks on his neck. And we still have another drought to go. So, back at our battlefield. Our monk, down. Jorlan jumps towards uh, Sir Hobart Kincaid and uh, makes an attack. Fly, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see him like go to strike at you and wince in pain as his injury seems to make it miss. I'll take it. <laughs> It is a total of nine, so there's no. No. Uh, you didn't even scratch it. Another <laughs> He's the injured one. Uh, now it's your turn. Sam, question. Is it a full action for me to throw this spider? <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> that scene in The Simpsons where they're getting away from Shelbyville yeah. and he throws a stake and the dog just swallows it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A, this guy's got some injuries. He's got a taste for blood now. <laughs> This, and this guy has some injuries, like um, has injuries, but has resplendent armor. Resplendent armor. Hmm. Don't love the sound of that, but I also don't like turning my back on these guys. The other guy's got a gun or a crossbow. Where they at? Where they at? 
Get okay, the I will, um, as an action, or as a, if you'll allow me, if you'll humor me, I'll take a bonus action to pull out little Lily, the tarantula, and I'll be like, look, it's your queen. And I'll smash her on the, I'll smash the spider <laughs> on the end of the hammer, and then I'll like reel back and try and smash him with it. So I'll, I'll attempt to intimidate him, I guess, uh, if, you'll, if, you'll, if you'll let me. Um, in that instance, I would say that's just an object interaction at that point. It's a dead spider. <laughs> Yeah. You, well, I just want to like show him the spider <laughs> and then just smash it on my hammer and then like reel back and double hand. You can smash. make an attack for that. Okay. That's, <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's not gonna be He's, enough. If he hits, um, definitely not enough. My AC is twenty. Yeah, definitely not enough. Uh, Fifteen. Oh, yeah. No. Damn it. Uh, but I will uh, use my reaction to repost. And okay. strike, uh, catch your blade and like par uh, parse back at you. Are you punching the spider back? For another miss. <laughs> oh, okay. Three <laughs> plus garbage. Um, all right. Um, well, that looked a lot like a reaction, <laughs> and I am going to turn and run <laughs> full speed. <laughs> 30 feet as far as I can go. Yeah, usually just I like, think I got him, my prince. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Good show. <laughs> uh, back that to the top all. of the round, Scorgamore. You're invisible. I'm invisible. Uh, You're somewhere over here. Somewhere over there. Am I now out of range of any drow projectiles? Um, not fully. Not fully. And also, you're pretty sure they can't see you. Yeah. But then again, you were marked by Lolt. Yeah. Uh, I feel like combat is not in the cards for me right now. Uh, <laughs> run for the hills. Okay, yeah, you keep going. I keep going. I, I, I have, have no punch. use. Yeah, I'm of no use to anyone right okay. now. Okay, I will take you out of initiative order. You are safe for the time being. Uh, you hear from behind you though. She's coming for you, you know. As Boopido makes himself known to you, even though you're both invisible, mm. he has a good sense of where you might be. Uh, but seems to be keeping pace with you. Okay. Brian. Right. Okay. So I'm at the edge of the bridge. Am I 60 feet back from the last uh, uh, guard? This one? Yeah. Yeah. That's like that's 60, like 60. Yeah, and that's like 40ish. Okay, so um, I'm gonna continue to run across the bridge while casting Vicious Mockery. <laughs> what does this look like? Uh, uh, he's basically like running backwards, oh. like across the bridge, like da 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 da. And he's just like, <laughs> your mother is a piece of shit. Um, and he's basically being like, uh, because he still looks like a uh, guard. He's just like, what did he say the name of the guard he was impersonating? Like a, Oh, uh, Goldar? Goldar. He's like, guard is like, you know, like, I fucked your mom. <laughs> she was average. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, my God. So that's oh. a wisdom save of 14. Oh. Six. <laughs> 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 that got him. Fucked your mom, comma. Uh, D4 damage, right? Psychic damage? Yes, and psychic then damage. Disadvantage on the tackles on the next attack? It is, yes. But it's only one damage, one psychic damage. Oh, hey, disadvantage one. is where it's at. Yeah. You will not live through this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, NPCs. Who we got left on the side? Uh, Sareth. They move out of my way. As he dashes across. You're missing your chance. Well done, sir. As Darren Dill also <laughs> makes it across, <laughs> nearly to safety. The rest of them a little slow. Uh, Jim Jar and. Uh, Shushar, run to safety. And everyone else is almost there. Now we're going to go for some drow. I'll watch Kincaid. Pursuing you. Ugh. And taking a shot. Because you did this one with this event? Okay. So a crossbow bolt rings out across. That's my yeah. 14? 16. Oh, <laughs> real close. 
bring the hammer up and just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, no bonus. Oh, bonus reload. Uh, the other guy's gonna go. Can't quite get to you though. It's gonna get close. Uh, he could throw. He's gonna throw a uh, dagger at you. Uh, this is, of course, Jorlan. So. <laughs> Natural 20, but disadvantage, so. Ugh. Terrible. Nine. Nine yeah. to hit. <laughs> That's you all he's my got. my cape. <laughs> he's just still over here suffering. We're like, my mom, really? <laughs> no, <laughs> couldn't be. My mother's a saint. Yeah, just just, just sees yeah. you across, like the yeah. as he's like going to like throw the dagger. He just sees you like, ding. yeah. <laughs> like he's just like for this indignity. She would never. <laughs> <laughs> Hobart. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend like I have things I can do because I'm level one. Uh, <laughs> I will. How 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 long is this bridge? Uh, like twenty feet. I will get to the other side, and as I run past, just full on swing, knock one of the pillars out. Ooh. Pull up. Can it be done? Can it be done? Okay. Or did he stick it down tight? Andrew, what did you do to me? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Bridge down. Um, yeah. Yeah! I won't live through this. She'll never take me back after this. Yeah, your mother also won't take you back. I can't believe it. She's been dead for years, and I'm just thinking about her now. Oh, woe is me. Yeah, so just to be clear, I did fuck her when she was alive. I believe it. Oh. She was most supple back then. You see, like, uh, the other so judges kind of, like, drag him away. Supple. Wow. Supple. As our crew escapes. Buck wild. Yeah. <laughs> As uh, and before I leave, uh, I'll take like a few steps and I'll like kind of like stop <laughs> and I'll pull out uh, just like the like my one of my reliquaries uh, and I'll like kind of like hold it and I'll be like, Ashari. And I'll like turn and like toss it back into like the river as I like leave. Another name of heroic honor added to the banner of life. That's who you sound like. You sound like the announcer from Soul C C Caliber. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, it didn't hit me until you started saying wild shit like that. <laughs> Soul Caliber. <laughs> Soul Caliber 7. A tale of souls and swords eternally retold. <laughs> I thought you were 1960s Sean Connery. Yeah. <laughs> it's in and out. I love it. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, uh, regrouping uh, after running away for the next few hours, your group uh, realizes that they don't really, you don't have a lot of survival gear on you. You're gonna have to rough it. Some of you know how to survive down here. Others, you're along for the ride. <laughs> uh, I knew. You know that you have to go to Sleepydop. Your boat is there. Yeah, guys, if we get to Slobin up, I can get us on the rowboat, I can get us to the boo cruise, I can Wait. definitely get you gold bracelets. A row boat? Booze free after 11 p.m. Before then, drinks are very expensive. I don't recommend drinking before then, but after 11 p.m., booze is free. And I can get you there quickly. Yeah, talk to Su Sushi can get us there. S sushi? They're my people. I, is this a neutral place? Will we be safe? You're under my protection. Sweet. Was he one of the ones eating the feces? <laughs> he was he was slurping it right up. Right. He's a second stomach, apparently. <laughs> we should stick together. <laughs> <laughs> but he also gave me a spoon. Wait a minute, did I win my bet? I don't think I hmm. I remember. <laughs> you, you you won the bet. Yeah, yes. we all. Yeah, yes. you won the. You bet. stole the oh. keys. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the side bed. Yeah. Yeah, Ginger coughs up the the money. <gasps> yeah, is it too coughs up the money to you? Yes. Well, oh no! <laughs> I did it. I was like, don't do it, Sam. Don't, don't. It's gonna be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one for the thing. <laughs> yeah. Tosses the one to the river. <laughs> Pour one out for my homies. Yeah. Right out. I like gold. So. 
we'll pick up next time with a new character. But we're not quite done with this one just yet. I know. I'm sure. <laughs> we'll figure out some stuff about a curse. Oh, God. Um, carry your, your prince along. Um, everything. <laughs> oh my god, I don't, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Ryan's just happy to be here. But you're going to get your boat? Yeah. And uh, we'll pick up next time in the city of the Kuatoa. Slubadop. Uh, all right, yeah, some acknowledgements before we go today. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to all of our casting crew here from, uh, we've got Kevin and uh, Dylan in there in the, in the booth. We've got Capri on chat. We've got Kenny and Owen and Silas who helped out with our cameras today. Uh, Tim and Josh and holy smokes, there's so many names. Chris Andrew Murdoch. and <laughs> DJ Chris Murdoch. DJ Chris Murdoch. <laughs> And uh, all, the rest of the sound team for being so willing to like jump in. Alex for coming in on your holiday to help and make sure that this stream was set up because this is our new space and this is the first time we've been here. And yes. holy smokes, what well, a fun yes. time! Thank yeah. We can touch each other. Thank we you, can Sam. have a great time. And I'm really grateful for all of you. So We're remember. We're grateful for you. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Sam. You. Taking us deeper into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gone Could've easier been, on the deeper poison, but sure. <laughs> you know, here we are. Remember, the dice roll your story, but you weave the tale. Oh. I'll see you next time. Hey. That's beautiful.